and good evening and welcome. Been looking forward to this one. It's Frostpunk's latest, potentially greatest expansion. This is on the edge. 11-bit were kind enough to give me pre-release access to this, and short of setting up and making sure that it actually runs, I'm going to be about as blind to this as you are, so we're going to explore it together. And we're just going to jump straight into the scenario. I read that there's some extra stuff put in for endless mode, so I'm pretty excited about checking that out, but all in due time onwards to On the Edge. A difficult scenario for advanced players. We'll see about that. Uh, I'm just going to run it on normal mode to begin with. We will probably, we will undoubtedly return to it on extreme later on, but I want to get a feel for what it's all about and maybe paint it in a more uh, approachable light. Let's go. They say the snow is dead, but we've learned to the contrary. Snow is ever-changing, unstable, restless. We survived the great storm. It took away a lot from us. Still, it gave us something in return. Tempestuous winds brought relics of the past to light. Ones that can bring hope for the future. Our assignment was simple. Arrive at the site, build a reliable camp, and create a stable chain of supply. In return, we'd get food and necessities. A square deal. But deals have this peculiar quality. Just like the snow. They tend to change. I gotta hand it to Frostpunk, their opening cinematics. They, uh, I don't want to say, say they send shivers down my spine, that seems a bit cliched, but uh, they certainly make the hairs stand up on the back of the neck. Right, we are the outpost team, so here's the swing. We're not actually the main city, we're the, uh, we're the outposts that you normally set up. Great Storm has uncovered an underground army warehouse from times before the evacuation. New London sent us here. So New London survived the Great Storm. Lucky them. Uh, couldn't have been that no generator run I did. We must rely on New London for food. There are no animals to hunt and the ground is rock solid. The weather is fine for now. We should survive without the generator until we have other ways of heating. Well, let's get to work then. <sighs> what do we even have to play with? Oh, weapons. I'm sure this won't go wrong at all. Not too bad if we do get access to weapons. The only other time we get that is in the refugee scenario. We know what to do. Our first task is to clear the road to the warehouse and get gathering steel. And of course, let's not forget to set up some tents. The night is going to be cold without a jenny. Right. What do we have to play with here? Uh, we've got a lot of trees. I assume, I, I very much assume that I'll be able to cut those down for wood. Not a lot of them though. There's a few here, and a bunch there, and that's it for wood supply, which is scary. There's a lot of wooden ruins already thrown down. We will be harvesting that for, uh, for wood, and I think there was some steel there as well. That looks like a busted down watchtower. Fair play. The beacon is already set up. That's pretty sweet. I wonder if that means it's already researched for us as well. I guess it doesn't matter if it's already there. 
<laughs> I could dismantle the thing. I'm definitely not going to do that. The beacon is amazing. It's infinite return of investment. Uh, notably, there is no generator in the middle. We have 65 people, no children. So it's the same as any standard start except none of the kids, which I suppose is good because until you sign child labor laws, they are useless. Mm -hmm. That's why head of Frostpunk QA DDR Jake is testing it, says Franconian. Yeah, Frostpunk Jake is on the case here. Right, what are we going to do then? Well, we're going to note that we have like nothing set up here. This army warehouse waiting on orders from New London. So I assume New London is going to tell us a lot of what we have to do. If I try to open my book of laws, I looked at this earlier, laws are signed by New London. We won't get to decide our labor laws, which kind of blows. I mean, the first thing I do is emergency shift everybody on gathering stuff, but good. You know, I want a new scenario with new challenges offered. Still, economy, economy, economy. We got wooden crates. We're going to grab all those wooden crates. There's a bunch of steel wreckage in the way. I want that grabbed as well. We have a bit of coal. I'm not going to focus on gathering coal right now because I'm sure I have a reason for this. Yeah, with no generator, I don't even have something to turn on through the night, so there's no point getting coal in advance for it. That's, that's sound logic to me. What's also sound logic is establishing a workshop ASAP. Tech, we gotta, we gotta at least find out what tech is. I can't even press T to open up the tech screen, so let's go. Mm -hmm. Currently, it seems like a limited Frostpunk run, says Marvin. Hopefully, there'll be more in terms of features. See, uh, I was actually sent... Man, I feel like my microphone's way out of whack after the DDR earlier. Uh, I was sent the big spiel about what the uh, what the new content's all about. The trouble is that I'm just not one for reading, so I kind of skipped to the end. We will uh, we'll figure it out by doing rather than seeing. No, doing rather than reading. Right, so all the wooden crates we're immediately chucking away at. Uh, these you might think I should go for, but given their layout, a single gathering post will take care of all of that. I think I'll save the next gathering post for here. And there's there as well. Whatever, we'll figure it out. It's normal mode. How bad could it be? Uh, oh, right. Well, there's one thing. We only have 40 food rations, and since I can't sign laws to turn my food into sawdust burgers, then it's actually going to be pretty hard to feed these people. Dang. Okay. Well, so be it. The first day is always quite forgiving in terms of labor, because nobody is sick, nobody is hungry, and everybody's ready to rock and roll immediately. Speaking of, let's get rocking and rolling on the technology street. So straight away, the heating tab has nothing to do with a generator. We have heaters, we have braziers. Exploration, of course, beacon is already there. Factory, oh, ooh, factory can only deliver us prostheses, of course. We don't have a generator to even fuel an automaton. Resources are almost all the same, except there's no steel production. They did mention that the ground was hard, so I suppose digging out steel would be a bit difficult. Uh, food, health, and shelter. Nothing about hunting or hot houses. It's all healthcare and the bunk houses. Right, not a lot of options then. Now, previously I've poo-pooed faster gathering, but I'm turning around on that. I actually think faster gathering isn't too bad of an early game technology. I've even used it in extreme mode now. So let's have us get into work on that and send the additional engineers to go and deal with the steel wreckage. There's no wall drill, Jake. You're right, there is no wall drill. That is a problem for me. My love of the wall drill transcends man and machine, and without access to it, well, things could get hairy. Okay, well, let's plow on. Not a lot for my people to do other than get to work. I want to send out a resource gathering scout pack, but they do cost workers and wood. Neither of which I'm drowning in right now. So I'm going to have the first day pass by first. And then once it's lights out... Oh, well, hey, faster gathering's done already. Swell. That's playing on normal mode for you. Braziers and heaters. Tempting. I think... Mm, but do I really think? Maybe I don't. Let's grab the uh, braziers. 
I don't think that's the best choice early on, because I don't really want to heat my people in minus 20 and minus 30, but it might be good for seeing how they operate. I never really dealt much with them in the last autumn, because we beat the game before the frost arrived. Okay, end of the first day. Hey, the, the voice guy. He's changed again. Just like in uh, the last autumn. Sweet. Okay, uh, gathering posts. I want them. I really do want them. I'm actually going to gathering post up you as well. How close can I get you? Uh, that's too close. Let's actually have you far away because I think I'm going to use this for housing and uh, housing and medical aid. Get that going. Oh, you jammy bugger. I can't even get to this thing until I clear the steel that's in the way. The steel is almost cleared though, so that's okay. It's rather tempting to set up another gathering post for these two. Gathering posts are just so much faster than not gathering posts. I think I'll slam you down over here. And run that over. Sure, it costs quite a lot of wood early on, but I'm okay with that. Or am I? I have 70 people to house. 70 into the wood leaves me with not a lot. But I do want to send people out nice and early. Hmm. I wonder if they die if they're not uh, given a tent on the first night. That sounds like something we should explore. I mean, the weather's fine. Um, I'm going to wait until they make me an ultimatum before starting smacking down houses. Yeah, this is a new scenario, old turn. Ah, get in touch with New London. Now we need to rebuild the transport depot so we can get supplies shipped from New London before food runs out. To get in touch with them, an outpost administration will be necessary. 25 wood and 15 steel. And a transport depot. Y you know what? Let's just ho let's hold our horses on that. We don't need to contact them that badly. Righto. Lack of shelter. I will provide shelter for everyone. Hopefully I get a nice big trust boon from that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I definitely want a medical post established immediately. So you people getting sick. All right, mush, folks, mush. I'm not sending out a scout team yet. Don't have the wood for it. If nothing else. Scouts are nice to get early, but I want to get a feel for the uh, the scenario before I start going down such advanced ways. All right. Now, in traditional scenarios, if you have people out in the open at like two in the morning with no generator and no houses set up, they just keel over and die. I don't think that'll be the case here because you start without a generator. It would be really rather cruel for that to still be the case, but also hilarious. Let's bring our people back from there, try to get our engineers working on the medical post as soon as it's established. Because, yep, yeah, we got sick people coming in. Where are all of our engines? There we go. Slam you over there. And I got five as a wild card. Okay, I could not stay away from Frostpunks' as Cerberus, who I think uh, wanted to leave so they wouldn't be spoiled on this. Too bad, you've made your choice now. I can totally see how people wouldn't want to be spoiled on this, but uh, that's neither here nor there for me, because I really want to play and enjoy it. There we go. Everybody's got a roof over their head. Hope goes way up. I don't know how I'm going to manage hope. Uh, I'm going to assume that there's not the typical faith or order routes. Again, I didn't read into too much of what the uh, new scenario is all about, because I myself didn't really want to be spoiled at it before jumping in. And if that means I have a harder time of it, then so be it. Still going to keep on working this uh, wooden pile, because it, I'm not going to build a separate gathering post just for that. And the extra revengineers, just get that steel for me. And then hopefully we can send out a scouting team during today, and all will be well. Now because I don't have my laws going, I don't have my emergency shift law for 24-hour shifts, I don't have extended shifts for 14-hour shifts... I can't put children to work even if I had them, and oh, let's not forget about food. I'm so going to forget about food. At least everybody's housed and they're being taken care of in the medical post, so the housing and the uh, healing situation is taken care of. 
And because almost everybody's gathering in gathering huts, I don't expect people to get too sick right now. Let's go. And if you... Shipment is waiting? Oh yeah, don't I have to send stuff to New London? Ah well, sucks to be them. Um, if you don't want to be spoiled, this comes out in a week. It releases on the 20th. Alright, the steel wreckage is just about done, and I... Oh, I do have the wood to send people off. Well, well done workers, you've been upgraded to getting out there and doing what exactly? Remains of a building, frozen den, collapsed building. I fancy pillaging that building, so we'll go there. Oh, there's New London. Population 525, so whoever ran New London on this didn't play optimally, but perhaps played the way they wanted to play. Mm. Favor is low, so I'm assuming that can rise and uh, lower, depending on how we interact with New London. Relations Home City is interesting, because that tells me that it's going to change at some point. Maybe they won't always be our home city. Or maybe we find something else where we have relations that are different to that. But one thing that you can't pass by me is, you see that... Uh, that graphic there, that's New Manchester. Can't pass that by me. Okay, let's go. 527 without the people they sent you, says Blackwinds. Aha! But even with a 65... Hmm, doesn't quite breach 600 though. I don't know, I don't think I ever went for a maximum... Um, uh, maximum population run, and I don't think I will because I have done New Home so many times, I don't feel the need to return to it. That's why I'm so glad to put in Endless Mode into this game. There's only so many times I can play the scenarios through, but Endless Mode offers, well, endless opportunities. Right, that steel wreckage is just about done, but it's only five engineers. Um, I might actually have them build this road as soon as they're done, just so I know what that road's all about. Otherwise, there we go. Steel wreckage is done. Build that road for me so we know what that's all about. There's plenty of building to be done tonight as well. It's tempting to put up a second medical post, especially with minus 30 coming. But we almost have those brasiers, right? Hey, there we go. Ooh, that I'm actually going to want in minus 30. I'm not so monstrous that I'm going to leave my people without heating. But I'm not going to heat this, alright, that's a waste of time. I could have put these down more efficiently. Ah yeah, well, I'm not going to... I'm not going to lose my mind over it, but I will pop this road out a bit. And establish that there. But I really, really don't want to heat that medical post because it doesn't deserve it. Ah, well, whatever. Let's get this done, but not right now. Building one takes only ten steel, much like a steam hub. Don't forget the food, Jake. Yeah, normally I build my cookhouse in the second day, and this should be no exception. Cookhouse can operate in minus 30, so I'm not too concerned about it. I'm just going to slam it down there. We'll have that done tonight as well. As for deck... I want that sawmill. I foresee a situation where we're short on places for people to work. And it would be really nice to have people generate lots of wood, because wood, in any game where wood is a resource, is of vital importance. Five an hour, you're not going to get this done today, are you? Not like that, you won't. Let's slam these people who are in treatment out and get those engineers in. And once they're done building, hopefully they'll help out a bit. Well, I got a lot of building work to do tonight, but that's okay. Okay, close enough. I'm not going to worry about what's left there. I will, however, leave workplaces in order. Indeed. Hey, you can sign a shift about that, or sign a law about that in the uh, the last autumn. Is there a new tech tree, Jake? Not yet. Nothing that we haven't seen in um, in last autumn, at least. And again, I don't know all the ins and outs of this campaign, so. We're going to be discovering that together. Uh, what was the other thing that I was able to slam down? Ah, yes, the administration. Uh, okay. 
immediately very glad that I didn't build here because it needs to be placed in proximity to where the generator normally is. Goodbye steel, goodbye lots of our wood. If I'm going to be running this brazier, I think I'd rather have my houses around here. I have quite a bit of wood. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think I'll have those two there just so I can enjoy some heat. Let's make sure they actually do get heated. That's pretty important. The placement of buildings. Its importance can't be overstated. There we go. Bit of an investment. I don't particularly mind. Alright, so plenty for people to build tonight. Hopefully they do get it built and our scouts are out checking things out, so we're all good. And those that are sick should no longer be sick before the night has passed. Good, now mush. Ah, uh, there we go. Transport depot is operational. We're waiting for orders from New London. Good. Did he finish Nancy Drew with a ghost? Not yet. Not yet at all. There we go. Now that we have a warmer place, people will move there from the colder places. Hopefully they... Oh, this one's cold as well. Oh, man. I missed that with this. Oh, well. It's neither here nor there. Ah, New London. So this is an entirely new interface here. Good day out, Post 1-1. Well done with the progress so far. We'll send you the first food shipment soon. I'm going to kind of need that. I've only got 40 food for 65 people. Now that the operation is established, we await the first batch of steel from your outpost. In the meantime, we are dispatching a group of clerks to run the outpost. Your children will arrive... Oh, man. It's like two days in and we're becoming New London's daycare already. Uh, remember, you can all, uh, we can always assist you with any problems. We've got to talk. Alright, what's our task here? This is like a movie where they explain the task on the way to the objective. It's like, yeah, okay. Uh, your task is to explore the warehouse and retrieve as much steel as possible. We expect at least one shipment every few days. We'll be sending you food every day. Oh, man. I'm winning in that relationship. We better get to work, then. Uh, I can say that I need things from them. You London can give us more food, wood, coal, or nothing. But look at that. Favor will fall or favor will be exhausted. I am my own man, you London. You can count on me. Although I do like that they're happy to help us. That's really nice of them. Alright, you know, I'm quite liking you, London. There must have been some misunderstanding. Our children were not supposed to join us. Certainly not so soon. It won't make things any easier for us. It's too late to turn them back. At least New London promised to send food. Hopefully they'll keep the schedule. Yeah, I'm a bit perturbed about becoming the daycare. But I'm sure we'll see it through some way, somehow. Our people are going to be relatively warm. That is excellent. And they should get less sick now. A lot less sick than the first day. I expect fewer than four getting sick. Uh, send the first shipment. They want 100 steel. I don't have access to steel. I guess that's where this thing comes in. Army warehouse. Drinks 20 people. Huge underground warehouse built by the army for an unknown purpose. Preserving the imperial domain in the world after the apocalypse. Perhaps. Perhaps indeed. Don't know. We'll find out in the sobering light of morning. It's giving me some helpful tutorial tips, but I like to think I can understand everything inherently. Although that did tell me there's a communicate button here. Oh, sweet. I can pester New London whenever I want. Happy days. Okay, there's our shipment coming in. And 40 raw food is just not enough for me, friend. Okay. Now, we have loads of coal, and this thing only eats coal when it has heating levels. I guess we can research that. Yeah, extra area of effect here would be nice. But I heat almost everybody. These guys just barely don't get heated by it, so it sucks to be them. Right, collapsed building has wood. Not a lot of wood. Perhaps it was a mountain shelter, or maybe a military watchtower. Shred of a white flag flutters. God only knows how it survived. There's no telling. 16 wood is not even worth what it made uh, cost to make these scouts. We'll go check out the stone wall instead. Stone walls, Alpha, hey? Eh? That'll keep the biters out. 
Okay, so far so not bad. I'm going to have the engineers work here. Ah, well one of them just got six, so it sucks to be them. Forget that then, I'll do labor allocation in the morning once the sickness has passed. Actually, the sickness will have passed. We only got one person sick, but go figure it was an engineer. At least we're not at a point where we need excessive amounts of engineers. In any case, get to work, make me the rations so that people don't go hungry. There's still stuff to gather here, but I can't help but feel that getting that steel is a priority. The sooner we get that steel, the sooner New London is going to treat us with all the respect we deserve, and not just some of it. Engineers pluck that out. Ten workers over here. Um, hmm. You know what, there's no hurry on this, but I don't like it being in my way, so I will get on that. Uh, I believe in wood. I strongly believe in wood. But let's get that steel. We can keep going like this for a while, I'd say, says Elizabeth Mason. Get to move on, chaps. There's plenty of work to do. So, the daycare is on its way. They'll arrive in five hours, which is amazing. They'll arrive during relatively useful time of day. However, it's going to get colder, and uh, keeping them warm ain't easy. I should really get heaters, but I want sawmills. I guess my concern about getting sawmills so I still have work for people might be ill-advised, considering how many people this eats up. But I believe in me when it comes to Frostpunk, so let's carry on regardless. Eating up five workers in this medical post is a waste of everybody's time. I'm going to chuck out most of them and get them uh, plucking this instead. Now this is something you almost never see because I sign excessive amounts of indus industrial laws. But people actually do go to work between the hours of 6 and 8 and then start working from 8. But in Frostpunk's... Um, blah, blah, blah. In Frostpunk... People don't have to physically be at a workforce in order to get the work uh, actually going. And eight steel per hour? Not bad. I wonder if that's affected by the gathering. Tell me. Faster gathering. Coal piles would create steel wreckage. Okay, I'll have to check with and without that tech later on. This will all be exhausted really soon. There'll be other work for them. We're making that food in the cookhouse, glorious. Hello, says Steve. I love your YouTube videos. Very glad I finally cut a live stream of Frostpunk. I'm excited for the new DLC. Me too, which is why I'm glad I get to play it right now. You have made contact with another settlement. I have. I assume you mean New London. If you ask them, they might be able to assist you in several ways. However, keep in mind that making requests that are too large in size or number will quickly exhaust their willingness to help. This is shown as favor. The higher it is, the larger the request. And da 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 da. Favor will rise over time. Hmm. I really want to know more about that. Does favor cap out? Do you waste favor by not spending it? I'm probably not going to find that out now, but I will find it out. Right, the wooden ruins are depleted, so these guys are doing their work magnificently. I love gathering posts, right? Wherever possible, gather with gathering posts instead of not gathering posts. Like these chumps, the only reason I'm getting them done is just because I don't like this hanging around here. That's going to free up some Revengineers who are going to leap from doing that to doing that. They're not wanting to work because they're going to go and eat, and this is what I think about people that want to eat. You're not allowed to. Get to work. Somebody is sick. Too bad. Get. Mm, well, I suppose if I have extra people here... Let's not be too monstrous now. <laughs> one of the people that have to work here is one of the sick absentees, which is hilarious to me. Okay, everything seems to be going according to plan. We have a decent amount of wood, the steel is coming in, and at that rate I'm pretty happy with it. Swell. Feels like I burned a lot of steel though. I mean there was one bit of steel together. Oh, I missed you, didn't I? There's a pile of wooden crates there for more wood. Good. Well, we've got our sawmills. I don't think I'm going to need that very quickly. So maybe it was a mistake to do it so early, but I did want to feel it out a bit. Um, given what we have here, heaters seem like a good option. Keep people warm uh, at very low costs. Especially down here, right? It is cold. A lot of these people are going to get sick tonight. Well, that's their problem. Hmm, what's going on? 
Our children have arrived. The clerks sent by New London to run the outpost are here. They brought our children with them. Many of our people are really upset because it looks like our kids were neglected. They haven't enough warm clothes and some of them caught a cold on the way. But now that they're here, we can take proper care of them. Well, hope went up, discontent went up. Oh god, sickness went up. Right, immediate shift of gears. Nobody dies on my watch here. Establish a new medical post. Sh throw those kids in there as soon as possible. These engineers go and build it, and then go and staff it. Actually, you guys are going to go and help with that immediately. Get this thing built as soon as possible. A trove of steam cores, sir. We have great news. The warehouse contains an unknown but very large number of steam cores. We immediately sent the news to New London and await instructions. In the meantime, we might try to haul at least some of them to the surface. Well, I can't make use of them right now, so we'll, we'll hold off on that for now. Steel ruins depleted. These, these guys are really chewing through their stuff there. It's excellent. The food arrived, though. I should really consider making as much of it into uh, edibles as possible. But people are busy working right now. Hmm. Building that is a bit of a priority right now, so let's just keep this thing closed. <laughs> no one dies or eats on my watch, points out not that mic. What would you think of a sequel where you have to survive in a hot desert, maybe around an oasis? So, um... In really boring meetings that I didn't want to be part of at some undefined point in my life without, uh... Without sounding too uh, too bad there. I would grab a pen and paper and actually jot down uh, my idea of a heat punk where it is that. And uh, instead of caring about uh, the stormy weather, you care about the rain coming to refill your central mount of uh, your central oasis. So you'd, uh, you'd be living and dying on that rather than your generator. Okay, we've heard the cache of steam cores. Very timely. Critical for the security of our city. Send a couple... With each steel shipment. I haven't even sent one steel shipment. Bloody hell, guys. Okay, uh, to help ensure the timely deliveries, you are hereby authorized to use emergency shifts. If you encounter any obstacle, let us know. We'll find a solution. Ah, excellent. So, um, how do you feel about us, London? I can demand food, people, and people are time-delayed food. Interesting, but I don't need your help for now. Farewell. Mm, right, well, I think I think I want to slam it on you immediately. I mean, we have all this discontent and we're not putting it to use, but my, the downside there is it's really cold in there. I'd have a lot of people get sick if I make them do that. And I already have sick people that I'm failing to, uh, to take good care of right now. That's a real shame, isn't it? Get to work, you monkeys. Work, work, work until you die. 24 hours on the job? Insane, but that's our lot. So my big question is, will this kill anybody? 24-hour shifts have this way of killing people, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Wooden ruins depleted, wooden ruin... Okay, this, these guys are churning through the stuff there, which is excellent. And there we go. Let's get those kids all healed up and make more of that food so I don't have to even think about it later on. Sadly... These buggers think they're allowed to eat before they cook everybody else's food, but I'll I'll let that slide for now. Did you deplete London of people? I wasn't keeping track of the number. Yeah, we depleted them of 10 people? But they sent over 25? Maybe I just can't count, which is very possible. Maybe they're finally reproducing. I'm not worried about one sick kid because the engineer... Yeah, well, hmm. Maybe I'm slightly worried. It'll be fine. Get to work, you monkeys. I see you're still not over Nancy Drew's minigames. Yeah, maybe monkeys are on my mind a bit more than they have any right to be, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Is there really no other steel to be had? Good grief, it is steel austerity. We're completely dependent on this warehouse for steel and cores. Oh well, that's how it is. Let's plow forward. People are very hungry, sire. Um, what's the situation now, though? I have more people coming, and I can't help but feel that there's going to be even more. Perhaps it would be prudent to establish more...
tense, especially tense in that delicious heat zone. I mean, I have a lot of wood. It makes sense to invest it. And since I have a night time, I might as well build it now. How are we doing on free homes? I got no vacant beds right now. Well, at least this way we'll have three batches of them. Um, I'm also going to establish a sawmill already. Might seem a bit early for that, but as I say, and say often, it's all about the economy here. It's the best place to set you down. Right there. Sawmills you demolish and bring back as you as you need. So 20 people are going to be working through the night. That doesn't leave me a lot of people to do this building work because, uh, yeah, the medics won't help out. Okay, stone wall. Talk to me. That's very good. 70 wood and 60 steel. We noticed some snow covering shapes in a niche sheltered by the rock wall. After a while of digging, we uncovered several frozen bodies huddled together by broken sleds. Judging from the clothing and gear, there were scouts like us. Probably from winter hell or something. Anyway, I'm surprised that didn't give me food, but hey-ho. Onwards to Frozen Den. From distance, it seems to us we can see a cave. Check it out, scouts. Now they have something worth sending them out for. Switch over to Steam Cores, Jake. See how long it takes. Only 20 people. Mm, I want to really back up my steel first. In the last autumn, switching between these resources had a considerable cooldown. I don't know if that'll still be the case here. But I'm not about to take that risk right now. Nobody's dying on my watch, remember? I really should thank New London for allowing me to make people work for 24 hours on the job. I was really thoughtful of them. Uh, I appreciate that. Okay, in comes the sick wave. It's going to largely be these guys. So I want some unemployment for them to tap. So that's exactly what I'll do with them. Keep it at 100%. That way people get sick, they actually rotate out. Oh wait, no, that's not how it's going to work, because there's no there's no free beds for them. Okay, well... This looks very survivable, though. It's not that cold, and it is normal mode. If this was extreme, though, it would be a different story altogether. Did I ever get those heaters? No, I should have got heaters before um, sawmill. But, oh well, sucks to be the guys down that mine. Five excess sick, but we will take care of them. Get that finished. Get those finished, because they're almost done. And the rest of you get to work there. Jake closed the cookhouse and forgot to reopen it. No, I always leave the cookhouse closed. When it's closed, people won't go and eat until they're absolutely starving. And that's good, because people going to eat takes time. But if they eat because they're starving, it doesn't cost anything. Sending shipments. Sending shipments is the key to resource distribution in Frostlands. There are two ways to do this. You can open the outpost and choose the shipment. Alternatively, you can open the Frostland map, target destination. Either way, gather resources first. It takes at least a few hours for the shipment to arrive at its destination. So, there it is. I actually have the steel, so let's try to shift over to steam cores now. There we go. Stop unloading for some time. Well, let's do it since we have loads of steel. Oh, it actually doesn't take long at all. God, it takes like no time. Swell, that's a lot better than the stuff in the last autumn. 0.2 per hour. 10 hours for two. That's pretty good. We'll be able to send out our shipment today. We'll be making our friends back at New London very happy. Mm-hmm. All right, so far so not bad. Get to work. I'm really, really keen on doing another emergency shift on the uh, the workshop, but I don't know if that'll kill people, so I'm not going to take the risk of it right now. Uh, oh, what? Wooden supports to raise the work efficiency in the army warehouse. Each use will cost 50 wood and raise efficiency by 50% for 12 hours. That's very good. But a raw output of 20% increase is very better. Get to work. Could you put a brazier outside the warehouse mine to heat it? Sure, but it would cost 3 coal per hour. Whereas this costs 1 coal per hour. 
it's not very expensive, so I don't, I'm not opposed to letting my people be a bit warmer. There we go. Not the where, uh, not the workshop though. That's already livably, livably functional. You know, I gotta be austerious with my coal, which may or may not be a real word. All right, we'll get those steam cores in no time. Everybody's working. I'd be a bit happier if they were getting, if they had all the food done, it would just be cleaner that way. Ah, but they want to go and eat, so forget that. We'll do it later on. We have enough food to get us through. The cookhouse is a liability when it hits minus 40 because then it needs a heater to function, but we're fine, as, fine with it as it is. You're almost done completely. In fact, you'll be done in a couple hours. Then we're going to dismantle this and send the workers over somewhere else. Actually, I won't dismantle it. I'll do that through the night. Big tip. I mean, I can give a lot of tips about this game, but one huge tip I would give is always, always do your building through the night. Because people don't actually need to sleep. So if you make them build between the hours of like 8pm and 4am, it's free. You don't want them doing anything other than working during working time. Wooden crates depleted, okay. Well, I'm glad we invested our wood wisely. Well, I hope we invested it wisely. Okay, so this one's all done. I will tell them not to demolish it just yet. Instead, I'm going to get these ten workers working elsewhere. Where, you might ask? Well, I don't actually know. Where's best for them? Probably shove them over there, and then the remaining five are carrying resources, but they're all right. The officers are fine. Man, those children are really sickly. You sure there were our kids? Alright, well, if everyone else is doing their stuff, you guys go and make some food for me. There, the food shipment came in so we can get it all turned into proper rations quickly enough. I wonder if they'll ever let me sign a law to turn it into soup or sawdust burgers. There's always a sawmill, yeah. But that wood isn't going anywhere anytime soon, so it's better to clear up all this other stuff first. Max out my coal piles, you know? Don't like having these sick people being so sick, but we'll have space for all four of them in two hours. Oh, there, there's this as well, these wooden crates. <sighs> I'm actually going to build a gathering post to, uh, to grab those tonight. Because wood is good. Okay, handcarts researched. Doesn't really show it here, but uh, the, re the efficiency is up. Mm-hmm. Unless that's a special thing I have to use here. No, I should just straight up give an efficiency boost. Uh, I guess it's not enough to put up 0 0.2 to 0 0.3. But it will work. Right. Wooden supports and a whole bunch of other things. We're going for drawing boards. If nothing else, I want extra scouts from it. Also, you guys have made all that food, so finish that up. And there's still a good few hours of the work day, so cut down some trees for me. I need that wood. Oh, that is slow going. Did I ever mention my incredible love for the wood drill? I may have mentioned it once or twice. Wood is more inherently important to me than coal right now, so get to work. I mean, I really, really like wood. Get. Okay, goody goody, there's a frozen den. It's indeed a large grotto in the darkness filling it. We find lots of animals and possibly human bones bearing teeth marks. Terrifying and sad place. An animal that lived here was for a long time feeding on the prey hunted in the area. After searching the cave, we find the predator, a bear mother with young cubs. Hmm. They're all lying huddled together in the furthest corner of the cave. They did not survive the great storm. Well, hopefully that's food for us. It is not food for us. Okay, but there is a crumbling hut in the distance. So let's go and kick it over and get back to our outpost. Favor probably goes up as shipments get delivered and maybe lower. Yeah, sure, but I, I need to know if it caps. I need to know what the best way to use it is. I mean, take discontent, for example. 
it's uh, it's a good milestone in learning the game to know that it doesn't matter if it's at 80% or 0%. All that matters is if it's at 95 or 100%. Anything else, it's free, right? Just use it as a resource. The shipment is ready. The shipment is tasked. Da -da 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 -da. You'll be able to dispatch the shipment. Well, get it going then. I don't need that steel. I certainly don't need those steam cores right now. But I think I'll get them ahead of time. Okay, so what do I get out of that? There it is. Off it trots. It'll be there in 12 hours. I guess the uh, the administrative officers are taking care of that, so I don't need to assign my own people to it, which is good. Work shift's over. I need that demolished. Mm -hmm. We acknowledge the dispatch of your first shipment. Well done. These steam cores mean a lot to our people. We're pleased to let you know that we plan to send you food shipments every day. Just keep these steam cores and steel coming. If the supplies you provide are deemed insufficient, we'll have to think of some consequences. And remember, if you run into problems, let us know. We'll look for a solution. And again, they can give us food, people. We need to address growing discontent. Nah. Oh, laws. So I can ask to sign laws. That's cool. <laughs> but it would be discontent laws. They'd probably let me uh, sign the uh, the fight club law. The ire rises. The news that London is pleased to tell us they'll keep sending us the food they owe us spreads among our people, causing a lot of resentment and anxiety. The vague consequence they threaten us with, shall we fail to please them, further fan the flames of outrage. All everyone is talking about now is how we should use the steam cores to help us first, since we found them and have no generator, unlike folks in New London. Man, my people are just so hard to bloody please. We have a job to do. We're the best and brightest that New London had to offer, and granted the bar wasn't very high, but we're gonna get to work. Alright, I'll get those steam cores and then get the next one. How, how often do they want these anyway? Doesn't seem to say, um... Ooh, right, I love it when they add new graphics for this. I know it's it's not the most complex stuff. It's more like 2.5D floating uh, paper, paper crafts here with smoke, but I still think it looks great. The style they went with in this game really appeals to me. They had a name for it. I was reading the art book. They call it, uh... Well, they call it something, and I forget what it is. Something like Snow and Suit, because everything's meant to be white, but dirty white. Maybe in the bottom left we have a task. Yeah, I'm not seeing any requirement to do it in a certain amount of time. We'll get to maybe even four steam cores and then just grab steel and then send send them off stuff as often as they need it. But they're still only sending me 40 food. You know, that's not a lot for 90 people. Actually, it's probably not enough. Yeah, oh right, I've completely gone back on my own advice here, right? If you have, um, if you have a spare knight, use it to build. I will actually run out of jobs for people to do soon enough. Ten are already there. These five and those ten are going to be done with. It might even be worth my time building a second sawmill. Sawmills are very, very cheap to build. So get them done. I'd love to send these people down the mine for another 24-hour shift, but not, not right now. I don't want people to think I'm abusing my position and power here. The center looks so different here without the generator. What's that? A makeshift wall there, some crates. That's my home, I guess. God, that looks cold. Good thing I like heights. Alright, I have nowhere near as much wood as I would like, so I really want to go double time with the sawmills, but all in due time. Ooh, Frostpunk DLC, what a nice surprise is Will & Co. Yeah, it was a real nice surprise. I just finished my DDR stream today, and I had received a message from um, from 11-bit telling me they had a preview version for me, and that was really touching, because they, they totally don't, right? You can be cynical and say it's, uh, you know, it's what the game devs and publishers use to promote their stuff, but I don't care. I think it's pretty great. <laughs> then again, maybe I'm pretty biased on that. Okay. You are just about done. You are just about done. 
I don't need coal, though, but I do want you guys to be done so I can pull you back. Mm, I need wood. But the cleanness of getting these finished really appeals to me. Ah, well, get to work, everybody. The amount of sick people is concerning, though. Starving people as well. That's, that's their own problem, though. Still, everything's up and operational. And since it's going to warm up a bit, I'm going to turn off everybody's heaters. They don't deserve it. These guys probably do because it's so many people that one heater has a great return of investment. Shipment arrived from New London? No, it reached New London. Good. Give me something nice for it, like more raw food, please. Alright, it's thawing out a bit. You know, all the thawing that happens between minus 30 and minus 20. I've never been in minus 30 before. I've certainly been in minus 20. Feels good. I like the cold. New London does count on us. We should have some pride in what we do here. Right. If five of these guys are in treatment, that is unacceptable. I need this thing running at maximum everything. So I'm going to take the five people, shove them out there, grab five people that aren't sick. So that's going to include uh, everybody here and a couple of you and then send them in there. It always takes from the uh, the well of fine people to staff up a place. So all of you are sick, which is a real shame, but once you're not sick, get to work there and get to work there. Good, the wood's coming in. Eight per hour, so that's gonna be quite a lot today. You can't produce raw food? Nope, can't produce raw food. Can't, uh, can't do wall drilling either, so once I'm out of wood, I'm in a bad predicament. But we'll see how that evolves in the game. I believe in you, London. And why wouldn't I? Mm. God, the, the amount of sickness here is a problem, isn't it? God, even you are sick, but I'm not going to pull you because I need the uh, engineers to be currently healing all the people we have. Maybe I should uh, beeline for... Infirmary at this rate, but infirmary is level 3 tech. That is expensive a clock. Okay, crumbling hut. The building, once heavily damaged, has been repaired to provide some protection against the weather. Smoke is billowing from its makeshift chimney. Call us hope. We knock armed people, answer the door. Armed with what? Uh, we soon find out that we are their last hope. They're emaciated, hungry, and sick. Their supplies are running out. Previous inhabitants were killed by wild animals. That looks like engineers. Well, there's nowhere else that we've discovered. We're going to bring them back, even though we can't really feed them. But perhaps we can have them for dinner. Excellent. That's taken care of. We'll demolish that later on. But otherwise, I've got ten free hands. And did I mention how much I want that wood? It's quite a lot, but let's deal with the coal first. There we go. And hey, if anybody's left over or gets well soon enough, have them on that. There we go. Drawing boards get. What are we going to have? Nothing for heating. I could have more scouts, and trust me, I want more scouts. At least I don't have to feed them. Mixed crews allows the army warehouse workers to retrieve steel and steam cores at the same time, but less efficiently. How much less efficiently? Not knowing that is bothersome. Hmm. None of these other things appeal to me. Bunk houses might appeal, but that costs a lot of steel and wood. I could go for drafting machines. That's very expensive, though. Well, more scouts is very tempting, but I've, I don't have anything that cro uh, calls out to me that needs more scouting right now. Sawmill upgrade is very, very good, though. 25%. Wooden supports lets me spend wood for more efficiency down there. Wood is a problem, so I'm not going to do that unless I find that there's some infinite uh, supply of wood somewhere. Nor do I need coal right now. Really, wood is the one thing I'm burning on, so sawmill upgrade really does speak to me. Healing, Jake. Medical post upgrade barely does anything. Heals people in 22 hours instead of 24 what I really need is infirmary, which requires drafting machines. Still, that might not be the worst thing to rush. Medical post, drafting machines, then infirmary. That should take care of our sick problem for a very long time. 
unorthodox because it's not industry, and I like to rush industry. But we'll go with it. What's the worst that could happen? I'd love to slam down more 24-hour shifts, but I can't do that with a clear conscience right now. Because I don't know if it's going to kill people, and if people do die, what am I to do? You know, I can't sign a law to chuck their bodies into the snow pit, but maybe they're wired to not die. This is all stuff that, once I'm done with my stream, I'm going to spend a bit of time picking the, uh, picking the thing apart to see how all the things tick. So that when I run it on extreme, I have all the information I need to run it as efficiently as possible. But I don't have that right now, so let's plow on. I really want that engineer to be better. But he won't be better until tomorrow. God, I need to look after the clerks, but they won't work for me. Can't believe the workday's over already. Oh, right, they're bringing in 20, 32 people. I only have 30 free beds. Get them some free bedding. And have some backup bedding just in case things go to pot. Just because I like having stuff that gets built through the night. I wanted to check to see if there was an option to dismantle that, because it would have made me uh, laugh quite a bit. Okay, keep it going. That food is grim. Really grim. Hmm, incoming. Ah, well, the food is coming in, but it's going to be here in 12 hours. My people are pretty hungry. I'd request some more food then. I mean, it certainly could be done. Hey, I can bother them at 2 in the morning. <laughs> I read you loud and clear. Yeah, sure. By the way, tell me what my task is again. Uh, we need more food. London's favour will be exhausted. Uh, I like to think I'm not the kind that needs to go crawling to New London quite so early. We'll see. We'll see how tough this gets first. <laughs> Booty call to New London. It's such a cold night. Okay, well, one thing I've learned is that this setup is really grim for me. I have so much uh, coal that I think for this I'm going to rearrange it so that more people get heated. Minus 30 does get a bit chilly with no generator or anything of the like. Ah, welcome. Now... Get back out there. This is why I didn't want to get more scouts as soon as I normally do, because there's very little that I have to scout here for now. Where are they even going? Remnants of a building. And I just brought back a whole load of hands, which are surely happy to help. I thought it said they were all sick, but they're not. Excellent. Very excellent. I am so glad I established labor for them immediately. There we go. And that means before the work shift begins... I want another workshop built, so I can squeeze out 30% more efficiency from my research. That's still going to leave some hands, but they can just fill in for unemployment at this point. Maybe it's because it's normal they're well, maybe, but I swear it said they were not feeling too hot. They are emaciated, hungry, and sick. Maybe they got some of that scout magic when they were coming back. Shipment for New London, ready to dispatch. Yeah, sure, there you go. Look, I'm drowning in this stuff, you take it. You guys, get me two more steam cores before we switch back over to steel. I want to show New London just how great I am. Building. Yeah, well, that makes sense. I do want this thing built as soon as possible. There we go, and there we go, and that'll get that done a whole lot faster. Excellente. Oh, there we go. That's when minus 40 is going to hit, and that's when I actually need my medical posts warmed as well, so I don't feel so bad about my brisier um, setup. Uh, that's also when you become a liability, actually.
I might be burning through my wood here, but I feel confident that I'm going to need these houses, and I want to heat as much as I can as soon as possible too. So if this extra brassiere is... Gee, I do not know. Probably around here. Oh, it's rough trying to heat everybody here. It's as good as we can do for now. Not everybody will get heated, but uh, them's the breaks. Also, we're not we're not establishing you just yet. Well, now nah, let's let's build it tonight. Yeah, I know we can get extra range, but I can't plan around that right now, because we don't have it. But someday we will, and that'll be a good day. Get that torn down, I feel really bad about not having en enough jobs for people. Rushing sawmills early? Not a bad idea, as it comes to pass. I might actually have a third workshop, which might seem decadent, because it is decadent, but... Um, seems like a decent idea at this point. No, let's relent. But I'm struggling to think of anything better to do with all these people who have nothing to do. I guess they can pluck this uh, this crap out of the ground. They say they want to build, but let's be reasonable. Get to work first instead, please. There we go. Wonderful. Ah, there's one thing. I need to slam out this in-treatment uh, engineer for a non-in-treatment one. Who's actually building back to work? Where's he even building? You're all alone, chap. Get back to work. Must have missed the memo. Tell you what, if I have other people that still don't have anything better to do, I'll have them make some food. There we go. Got them all. Alright, things are looking great. We got less food. What? Things are not looking great now. Sir, workers unloading the last shipment of food from New London noticed that it's quite a bit smaller than usual. The news is, of course, already all over the outpost, causing much anxiety and anger amongst our people. Let's hope it's just a mistake. I sent them 200 steel and 4 steam cores. Nope. That um, that means that they are rich, so this is not malice on their part for sure. I think it's some of our transport depot workers stealing it for themselves. Alright, we got our upgrade there. I want drafting machines so that I can have infirmary. That's very expensive on the steel, but that's okay. We'll get our extra steam cores, and I'm really thinking you guys are going to go down, in, down there all night tonight. They will, actually. I'll send them down and hope that nobody dies. And... Oh, yeah, you are making that. Um, no, that should be fine. New London. I'm sorry to inform you that due to circumstances beyond our control, your food supply will be reduced until further notice. We assure you the shipments will return to the agreed size as soon as possible. We hope this inconvenience will not impede your progress. We expect you to keep the shipments on schedule. Hmm. On time, on schedule, and on budget, New London. You have my word. Let's go. Increase trust with New London while you can, says the wealthy Nigerian prince. I really wonder how this favor thing works doesn't tell me if high is as high as it goes, which is a bit worrisome. I wouldn't mind demanding stuff from them if it... if it, uh... Hmm, what am I trying to say? Let's say high is as high as it goes. By not demanding stuff, I might be wasting growth of trust. I don't know. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh... Once the, sh once the work shift is done today, everything will get built. Everything will be fine, basically. Oh, wow! I've never torn through a batch of wood so fast. We're actually about to hit the limit here. Which means I need to slam something down just to use it up. There we go. Let's just pause that for now. Get that wood. Amazing. It's all gone already. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. 
Uh, and actually, now these guys have nowhere to shove all their wood. So I'm really short on work for people to do. Well, hopefully they can work out a way to turn rocks and snow into a full meal, because that's something we're certainly lacking right now. Let's get rid of this superfluous road. We actually get a bit of wood back for that, which is rather nice. Same with this one. No, I'll keep that, because I might need to reach out to this at some point. Uh, the trouble is we're completely out of steel. I think you guys are going to keep getting the steam core, so I have a second one ready to go. And that'll allow me to send out the shipment whenever, once we get the steel as well. Maybe not the best of ideas, but it's the idea we're running with right now. That's it. Work done for today. If you run out of food, you know what to test, says Bornite. Hmm. I wonder if New London would actually say, yeah, why don't you just uh, eat your own people? That seems fine. Oh god, that is not in a good place. Look at all these people that it doesn't heat. Barely heats anyone. Damn these brassieres. They're just so pathetic. It's going to be really grim living in tents in minus 40 with no heating. Oh well. People need jobs though. I do not have jobs for my people. Ah, we got the second steam core though, so trot along with getting me some steel. That'll help me research and build. Oh god, what? No! <laughs> Don't be dying on me. Okay, so you can have death of overwork. What a shame. We've got to make sacrifices, though. And now I have a dead body that's going to be taking up space. New London's shipment has arrived. Oh, no, our shipment arrived to New London. This dead body is going to get in everybody's way for a while. Two of you are in treatment, which is unacceptable. That was what I expected from Jake, says Kronos. Well, I had to know. I had to know if 24-hour shift would kill people. Looks like the first one does not, but uh, subsequent ones do. Fair enough. Then again, now that somebody has died from it, why don't we make people work even harder? Yeah, get to work. Also check out what's in that remnants of a building. Mmm, so, so... Oh no, that's pretty bad wooden steel, but a couple of options. Before the frost, there was probably a road here. Mm. The place was undoubtedly nice, at the feet of the mountain with a view of the sea horizon. That's all we can guess from the ruins sticking out from under the ice. Well, too bad for them. A forgotten fishery. Sounds like we might be able to set up a place to actually generate food. That sounds useful. But I really want to know about Nansen's Stormwatch. Uh, you heard about it in the New London run, but ah, let's try and set up that food first. Hmm, it's a shame. Real shame about that death, actually. But, thanks to this other 24-hour shift, we got drafting machines. We're about to have infirmaries. Unless I really want something else. Elevators? Raise output by another 15%. I like output. Efficient burners. Mm -hmm. Can I get stronger ones? Yeah, looks like I can. Oh boy, this has really opened up options for me. But I really like output. So put out. Disaster proof, Jake. Go infirmary. No, we need raw output. Uh, speaking of which, though, we have too much wood. What a problem for me. I'm just going to, uh, actually, let's not be that cheap. Let's slam down some resource depoting. Where are they going to go, though? I guess I can slam it out here. That's a one, that's a two. Get those built for me. And then I have a place to store my wood and whatever else comes our way. It is getting colder, so let's warm up our people. Not those in warehouses, right? They don't deserve it. There is work to do. 
Unburied dead. People are complaining about the dead bodies. You should ask New London to sign an order. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we need to... Wait, this will f kill our favor? That's a shame. We need to dispose of dead bodies. We looked at the problem. We think we have a law that will help you solve it. Why, thank you, London. Respecting the dead edict. The honor, the fallen brothers, da-da-da-da-da. Avoid outbreaks of disease. The government of New York is an act regulating the handling of human remains. From this day on, all dead bodies should be buried in a cemetery. Ah... Well, I am surprised. The final resting place for our people. There we go. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. If you leave dead bodies too long, it actually spawns disease, which you really, really do not want. There we go. Another tech down, but I am meant to be a job creator, and I am not creating enough jobs. I actually will get that other workshop going. Those elevators are nice, but uh, as much as I want that infirmary, I need to create jobs for my people. And that's probably going to be thumping. I could do mining, but that would eat up this steam cores, which, uh, as we all know and agree, New London deserves those. So we'll get thumping. I thought the ground was meant to be really hard here, though. Aren't you curious what law will be passed if you ask them to help with discontent? I am a tad curious. But you know what they say about curiosity. High discontent. Ah, oh, God, even my people want me to do this. I'll tell you what, though. What we should look at is what happened to, um, to our favor with London. If we check it out here. It's average. Okay, so I guess it goes zero low average high. It's just a guess, but it feels like the correct guess. Come on, steal... There we go. Got everything I need. Take another delicious shipment, London. This is how pious I am. Let's get our engineers working on some more engineering solutions. And there we go. Cemetery established. Discontent down. Hope up. Not enough jobs for my people, though. Damn it. I'm meant to be a job creator here. If you had the efficiency bonus of the warehouse, your wood would still be at high. Oh, you mean the one that uh, goes down here and gets us more steel for a while? Yeah, I would actually like to get that at some point. I could actually do it right now, couldn't I? That extra output seems really good. But I want to know about mix- there's a lot I want to know, right? It feels so weird to have options in Frostpunk but not know how they all go. It's like a buffet here. Infirmary calls out to me. A steam heated infirmary with ten beds. It does cost a steam core though. Let's try mixed crews and see how that goes. Minus 40 is only for one day now, Jake. Maybe worry about it later. Yeah, minus 40 we can deal with with heaters. I mean, these places only become chilly. This place will actually become cold, but who cares? Um, some tents will become cold as well, but ah, eh, we'll get our infirmary uh, after we have mixed crews. A nice thing is, once this 24-hour shift is over, I can slam one over on workshop, and they might get unhappy about it, but I can always offer them food in exchange. Oh yeah, food. Food's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Sheltered Cove was a convenient place for fishing until the seas froze and a thick snowcap buried everything. Strong winds blew the snow away, and there remains of fishermen huts here. Mm, won't be of any use to us. Okay, well, a pathetic amount of food, pathetic amount of wood, and some ruins to go and check out. Let's keep going. And there, there's our transports. Our hard-earned goods going to our mother city. Once that 24-hour shift is up, we'll be putting in another one. Mixed crews, great. Um... Let's get that infirmary going. Be disaster proof. And smash down that emergency shift. Discontent's growing high, but that's okay, probably. I wish I could smack down another 24 hour shift here. Alright. Extract both. We'll see how this goes. Ah, crap. I can't remember what the rates were for the others. This was 0 0.24, and this was. a number. Somebody will probably remember, but I don't. 
10.4. Yeah, I'll believe that. Oh man, people should be building for me. I might have uh, might have missed it. You know what? It makes quite a lot of sense to thump here. Ah, but there's not the space for it. But there could potentially be the space for it. I'm going to take a risk and remove this. Hey, that's how you do it. I'm sure we could still do it better, though. There. Now, with a well-placed brazier, I could actually heat all of this. I can now heat none of this. Okay, well, that was a waste of time. I don't think there's any way that I can actually heat you with this, is there? Okay, well, I don't regret what I did. Okay, I significantly regret what I did. Should have tested the brazier thing first. And this is going to end up being the worst road you ever did see. Let's not let anybody know of this shameful display, and we'll just tell them that the road got destroyed through the night because of the intense cold. Okay, well, back to doing it the old-fashioned way. Can't heat up your cemetery or else uh, bad things. So instead... I'm going to throw you down here. I'm going to have gathering post. I want something else here. What, what could go here? That's just barely not enough space for something like a cookhouse. How about... Yeah, only one workshop would fit there as well. Mm. Oh well. I try. I try things, they don't all work out too bad. I just want to give my people some stuff to do through the night. There. Disgusting, but that's okay. Oh, ooh, maybe it's not okay. Refusal to work! A man assigned to an emergency shift refuses to get back to work. I'm trying to create jobs here and you're just getting in my way. Shipman reached New London. Hopefully they're very happy with me for it. You know, I don't seem to be getting anything from doing excessive amounts of deliveries to New London. I wonder how that works. Because I am doing an excessive amount of them. Which is to say, in excess. Okay, we got the infirmary. So we should be disaster proof for a little bit. What else was I really wanting? More scouts doesn't seem that impactful to me right now. Gathering post insulation would be very nice because it's going to get colder and I'll be able to warm them up a bit more. But I want those wooden supports. We'll trial, trial that out. This place won't work because you haven't built the roads for it yet. <laughs> we have a quota. We really do at that. For the love of God, build those roads. There we go. 5.4 and 0 0.1. So it does split evenly between them. That doesn't seem very good. Seems better to just shift between one and the other. Ah, well, whatever. Let's get those jobs going. And if I have some people left over, which I will, they will put up this uh, brazier to warm our people up a bit better. Of course, positioning is everything. There you go. Not too shabby. I mean, it's pretty shabby, but it's not the shabbiest. Okay, observatory ruins close up. Turns out that the building is not in such good condition as it seems. The walls are collapsed, the dome is damaged, part of it fell inside. Hey, I remember this from the 
new home. Great storm took the rest. There's nothing here. Okay. Hey, can we stop off at New London? Hey, we can. Let's go and see how things are going on there. Probably a waste of time, but on normal mode, I think we have the flexibility to waste as much time as we like. There we go. That's additional coal income coming in, which makes me feel not too bad about all the braziers and such that we have. Swell, and I'm just about to slam you down with a 24 hour shift and some steel structure -y things. There we go. Ability cooldown's not done. Not yet, at least. Hi, discontent. Yeah, nah, screw that. Discontent is fine. It's a resource to be uh, used and abused. You know what? Forget working there for now. Go and make me some food. And as for tech, really, really like gathering post insulation, especially with the cold coming in soon. But how about those McCann? No. Anything to get us more steel. I feel like steel is going to be the linchpin here, like it was in um, oh, most scenarios, actually, where steel is a thing. It's all rather tempting in its own way. Bunkhouses will keep our people much warmer, though. And cost a metric bollock ton of steel, but that's okay. Get to work. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. All that steel, all those steam cores, and for 24 hours. Interesting that, though, if you want to have a deathless run, you can only 24 hour shift that place once, and you'll want to choose when wisely. A child's plea. Captain, we found a boy frozen to the bone in the cemetery. He must have been there for hours. He wants you to call an emergency meeting. His mother will wake up to attend it. He must face his loss of his mother, Elizabeth Mace. Oh, I remember her talking earlier, saying that there's good times and bad. I guess she just couldn't cut the mustard. Is that for normal mode only with a free 24 hours? No, it's for any mode. Your first 24 hour shift is free. So, uh, I used to not do it this way, but a good idea, especially for endless mode, is to do your first 24-hour shift on the workshop, and then the evening, so at about 1700 hours, you then do two or three more emergency shifts on resource piles, because resource piles are always free. But if you do it, it too early with your workshop, or whatever you choose to do first, is still running its 24-hour shift, then somebody will die. And I actually like my runs to be relatively deathless unless I'm really trying to be a monster. And sometimes I am. <laughs> unless you're in the army warehouse, then work is never over. Okay, infirmary is going to be so much warmer that I don't even want it heated with those uh, brazier things. I wonder when I'll admit that I just don't know how to say the word. Not now is the answer. Uh, I misposition that. Gonna throw you over there. And then I'm going to staff it and dismantle these medical posts and throw actual houses over here. Fun thing about medical facilities, they never, ever, ever need to be above chilly. So there's no point of me throwing it into the heat zone when I think that it's not gonna get that cold for a while. Bunk houses get, and trust me, I want those bunk houses. Cookhouse insulation will allow it to work in minus 40. Healthcare insulation is nice and all, but it's not really what we're looking for. I'm thinking gathering post insulation. That's always a nice one. We'll go for it. There isn't a central heater on the map. What are the wind conditions, says Traffic Cone? Wind conditions? We're here as a loyal extension of New London to send them the supplies that they desperately need. Oh, look at that. Favor's high. Maybe I should be making more use of the... Uh of our friends in New London. Favor will be exhausted. It, it seems like demanding people or food really, really uh, taps into uh, London's favor. But we do need raw food. No, we can't afford it. Oh, okay. Did I still tap their favor, though? No, okay. Huh. Um, London, what's all this about? <laughs> I certainly don't need uh, wood, though. And people are mouths to feed, so maybe I shouldn't do that. Hmm. 
What happened to New London? I set you up with an amazing city, and this is how you, uh, how you're handling it. We have a new problem. Oh, no. Well, we do have a new problem. Fighting Arena Edict. To free the administration from arbitrating disagreements and raise the recovery rate of steam cores, from now on all disputes will be resolved using fist fights. You know what, New London? You're not that bad, are you? We have bad news for you. The rules governing your shipment have changed. From now on, food supplies will only be sent after you dispatch a shipment of steel and steam cores. We regret the necessity, but it's deemed essential to facilitate timely deliver of critical supplies. Ah, I understand, you know. Tit for tat and all that. The, the downside is I did just send you, like, four shipments. was a lot of shipments. People do enjoy these violent bouts. There, nah, I'll just give them one. They don't need more than that for now. New London! Uh, oh, well, we can directly communicate with them like that, but that's, that's not doing anything for us. Never mind, and farewell. Very nice and polite. I got I got no beef with uh, with London. Well, not the new one, at least. 100 steel and 2 steam cores for 40 food? Yeah. It's, um, it's quite a bit. And I need that steel for myself, not to mention the steam cores. There we go, right. Infirmary's up and on the go, so I'm going to dismantle both these medical posts. I'm going to send a few workers to the infirmary, but not a lot. It doesn't need to run very efficiently. I'd rather have my engineers doing anything else. Then again, there's not really work for them, is there? Get to work, then. We must act. Our people are angry and anxious about the food situation. A group of experienced explorers is here to talk to you about a solution. By cutting our food supply, New London has shown that we can't rely on them. We need to have another source of food. Fortunately, our scouts report signs of recent human presence to the south. Send them to investigate. This might be our lucky break. What are you talking about? We're drowning in food. Uh, still, after we get gathering post-insulation, I will strongly consider that as a... Um, has something to do getting more scouts, especially since we are disaster-proof of the functional infirmary. It's just that having more people here might hurt. What do we do? Supplies are already stretched thin as it is. New London has betrayed us. We'll starve it. Calm down, people. Jesus, we have so much food. And it's not even uh, sawdust burgers. Alright, and now people can slug it out. So Juliet's taking on Christopher. Hop to it, guys. I'd like to celebrate with a new bunkhouse, but I feel like I need this steel. So it's going to be tents for now. We can always upgrade the tents and gain some of those resources back anyway. Right. Alright, so far so not bad. And again, the sick that we have is just sponged away from... Um, uh, from the employed. So if five people get sick, they'll take from the unemployment pool. There we go. Lovely. And those that are sick will be dealt with very quickly in our brand new and incredibly toasty warm infirmary that even without heating is going to function fine in minus 40, which is going to come along in about 26 hours. Jake, do you have any part of the DLC you cannot show yet? There is no embargo on this. I can show you anything and everything. <laughs> then we come and decompile and recompile and distribute the game. No, not quite. I'm a bit nicer than that, but only a bit. Alright, this looks okay, except... No, it is okay. There's no ifs, ands, or buts to that. The wood situation is grimbo, though. Once these trees are dealt with, I'm going to have to creep forward like I'm turret creeping in Factorio. Two of you are in treatment? That's not right. Dismiss them and pull out two people that are nice and healthy. Firm believer in maxing out your efficiency wherever possible here. There, everything's fine. Everything, without exception, is fine here. Oh, it's so nice having an infirmary. You just slaughter through the sick, no problem. No harm, no fuss. Uh, once some of them are well, they're going to work in the cookhouse and make this into the rest of food, but... Jeez. Um, I think a lesson I may have learnt here is that you shouldn't send them anything for ages. Because I sent them all that and I didn't actually get anything for it. Interesting. 
Slaughter through the sick. Isn't that triage? Hopefully we don't have to worry about triage. Okay, I have steel and I have steam cores, but I think it's better for us to continue to grab more of it um, right now because I want my people in bunk houses. I basically want to put that steel to a lot of work rather than send it to London for food. I do like the way it comes in, though. 5.4 per hour isn't bad at all. Like, that's a well-functioning steam steelworks right there. And getting some steam cores on top of that just adds to it. But we don't really need steam cores, which is a bit bothersome. Not sure what to make of that. I know what to make of it. A 24-hour shift. That'll make my people happy, because they'll know they're contributing to the good of the... Whoa, now. You're out of everything. Slam down another sawmill much closer. It's of vital importance that you do not destroy the trees. The trees are so much banked wood. You want it all. Anybody overly hot? I feel like my people are catching heat stroke here. Calm down. Gathering post insulation is fantastic. So let's go exploring a bit more. Once our scouts are back there, they're going over to the Stormwatch, and then we'll check out the Natural Terrace. Try and find some food out there. Can you build automatons, says Worm. Even if I could build them, they have to refuel off of generator or steam hubs, and we have neither. Alright, you made it there. Get over to the Stormwatch. It'll take you a day, but that's okay. Our tech is good. I can get the lighter scout sleds after this as well. No, I I misread my tech. I'm only on level 2 here. Alright, we're good. There's very little for us to worry about right now. Shipment is ready to go to New London. I know that. I know that. Yeah, the food situation is a bit grim, isn't it? Ah, whatever, there you go. New London's good. <laughs> I know they're good for it. Oh god, they're only sending 30 raw food as well. That's, that's grim. But it's not so grim that we can't handle the situation. More scouts have been researched. That was nice and fast. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Lighter scout sleds, I want to get around there on the double. I also want to have people that I don't have to feed right now, so I'm going to pull five of you and send you out to the great beyond. When you have a situation like this and it takes you forever and a day to get there, it's good to go to a waypoint that you've already explored. Cuts down on the overall travel time. Will you do a second villa run where you use everything you learned in this run? Yeah, and I'll probably do it tomorrow actually. Well, I would expect at least three Frostpunk streams between now and release of the game. Or release of the expansion. Oh, even on normal mode, this food situation is tight. And I still want that steel for myself. I can't wham another 24-hour shift on these guys just yet, sadly. But it'll be okay. There's no overcrowding, though. You think you can help me out here? We need food! <laughs> I doubt they can afford it, though. No, we can't afford it. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Alright, what are we going to go with here? Steel is still an issue. But you know what isn't an issue? Coal. Coal is good. Wood is good. It's just food and tech will not help me with food right now. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Does the population breed? No, it's not that kind of long-scale game. Right, I think mechanical calculators are the way forward here. Expensive, but... Well, there's no buts there. It's expensive. Oh yeah, you made it frozen, Dan. And then look at that, it cut off quite a few hours from that journey. Except for the hours that I forgot about them. The shipment reached New London. If we want more food, we'll have to ship out even more. So 24-hour shifts are for. 24-hour increased efficiency shifts at that. How long does this last again? 
the cooldown is a day, but I don't think it's active for a day. I think it's active for 12 hours, isn't it? Which means the moment they get to work, slam that down. They don't work a 12-hour shift, but I'll make them do a 24-hour shift as soon as the day is done for them. Just like our noble engineers, it was worth the death. Hey Jake, watching Nancy Drew on the other screen just got to the Astropult. Good times. Everybody's heard of an Astropult, right? Barely any sick because it's so warm. Well, it was so warm, it's not anymore. I will now consider giving my people uh, additional warmth. Not in the infirmary, though. They don't deserve that. Cookhouse will need it, but nobody's working there, so too bad for them. Actually, it might be worth making all the rations we can for now. When are they, when are they going to give me the law to, um, to make sawdust burgers? Maybe they only do that if you run out of food. So I bet there's all sorts of strategies where you exhaust your resources so you're forced to ask New London for help. Uh-oh, people. Nancy's Stormwatch survi Nancy Drew's Stormwatch survived the storm and rises proudly over the snow. It was here that we have seen the last traces of the fearless polar explorer. Its walls are free of ice. Someone must be inside. Inside we find a group of people huddled by a big stove. They say that they were rescued by Nansen from a whaling ship trapped in the ice. The great explorer brought them here, ventured further north to study the changes. Da 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 da. Cool. They survived. Okay. Nansen went off on his own, and I just assumed he got obliterated by the great storm, but he managed to survive it, it seems. What a guy. Um... It doesn't seem like a good idea to me to take these guys in. I'm gonna leave them for now. It's more mouths to feed, and New London is not making good with the, uh... With the nosh. Make sure none of them have a dodgy Jamaican accent. Jeez. Nancy Drew's gonna follow me to the bloomin' grave at this rate. Alright, things are perfectly acceptable for now. I think I'm gonna delay a bit on New London's next shipment, though. Mechanical calculators. I don't need better infirmary stuff. I'd love a house, but only if I have house redesign. Looking at the temperature, I don't even have to manage minus 40 for that long. It's gonna be minus 30 here and back to minus 20 at this point. Point. So the temperature doesn't seem too intense. Efficient gathering. Army warehouse insulation. Oh, that sounds nice. I bet they'd like that, but it costs steel. Steel continues to be a problem. Doubling the coal use. Doubling the coal use. We could quadruple the coal use to make it super warmer, but I don't think that's worth it right now. It's better to get better insulated houses. Better heaters are also a bit tempting, but not all that necessary. And I already have my lighter scout sleds. Hmm. Actually, lack of steel is really starting to burn for uh, for me here. I don't know. They all kind of suck as choices go. Maybe I bulldozed my way through tech too quickly. Sawmill upgrade, get more wood faster. I feel like the importance of steam cores aren't really heavy, says Meteor Sleeve. We don't know that yet. From what I can tell, there's going to be a lot of mechanics around interaction with other settlements. So before I make the call on that, I'd rather actually bank some up. And I at least want to bank some to send to New London so that I can get more food. We're a bit hungry here. Just a bit, though. I mean, let's not get carried away. Nobody's dying. Except that one wimp who couldn't handle a bit of work. And what a wimp. Lots of people going to eat. It's okay, though. The view is promising. The valley seems cozy by the Frostland standards and invites us to descend into it. There's nothing remarkable about the terrace itself, but we found a secluded valley get to it. Oh, that's right, the storm watch. I don't remember how many survivors were there, but I'm going to guess it was about 30. Okay, I have a problem. It's called too much coal. It's not a common problem, but it is the problem we have right now. I'm thinking if I slam you down here, 
then I could slam down quite a few t ah, Jesus, just, just not enough room for a tent, that's criminal. Oh well. How about that? How many people can I heat? With that, I can heat them all. Can I heat one more? Efficient positioning of your steam hubs, or in this case, braziers. It's a big thing. Alright, that's as good as she'll do. But that's alright. More people move into these warmer places than hanging around in these chilly ones. That said, none of them are actually... Uh, taken right now, so I don't even have to worry about that. Really? I don't think there are any residents in any of my particularly cold places. There's a better way to check that, of course. Housing temperature. Chilly, 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 chilly. Nobody living in cold. Good. In that case, all of this is paused, and I will simply have this as our backup place for more building. If it comes to it. But it shouldn't just yet. Uh, sawmill upgrade get, so I should start getting even more wood, which is wonderful, if only people are actually working on it. To that extent, I'm actually drowning in coal, so I'm going to... What will I do, actually? I think the technology is actually getting carried away, so I'm going to pool you and you, and have these engineers chop wood for me instead. Might seem barbaric. But that's because you're not seeing the bigger picture. That food is trending down, though. He doesn't like it. Food consumption, minus 111 per day. It's going to be a real problem soon. But not currently. I'm going to make more space for the coal and keep going. There were 31 survivors, 22 workers, and 9 engineers, says Nardiu. Thanks, I won't remember that. Do you have an open depot for the coal? I do, and I just put that to use. Of course, now I need to consider what else to research. I think this will be useful in the long term. We'll make these people warmer, then they get less sick. Oh, also, enjoy your 24 hour shift, suckers. At 185% efficiency, so good use of those wooden supports. But the access to wood is not infinite, far from it. I wonder if I can ask my friends in London for some more wood. Your request is granted. Keep in mind, this will take a lot of effort on your on our part. Well, that's fine, right? No more brother wars, New London. Send me the wood, and I send you the goods. What are they actually sending me? 50 wood! <laughs> okay, fair enough. If they have enough energy to complain about too little food, they obviously have plenty of food. Shorten the rations, says Adrigar. I'd like to, but London isn't letting me sign any laws to um, to deal with that. Okay, Windy Beach. Turns out there is no city in the hole. Part of the ice and snow, covered beach, carried winds, exposed. Ah, Tesla City's over there. As well as a shattered dreadnought. I didn't actually read that. Uh, this is just a depressing re. This is just a depression reaching all the way to the bare rock. One of the more striking testaments of the power of nature's forces unleashed in the passage of the great storm. Tesla. There's nobody there. Oh, I'm really curious about Tesla. It might kill our people again, though. I hope it doesn't. Uh, those. Those 50% kill your scout team events are just a whole heap of ass, but here's hoping that it's not here. If it is, then we'll just roll the dice, and people will probably die. I'd like to build more, but what would I even build? There's not a lot left for you to do there. I could build another one here. It won't destroy resources, thankfully. And there we go. Get that built tonight. Then I can decommission this, and that'll have all the trees over there dealt with. There are more here, thankfully. And actually, that's uh, not a bad idea to invest in right now. Oh, and it's already adjacent to the, the road. Excellent. Very excellent. Let's keep going. 
And those guys are working 24 hour shifts to bring out all that steel and steam core for me. Once I have the fourth steam core, I think I'm going to switch it over to entirely steel. Going further into the valley, we find remnants of grove, large number of stumps is all that's left. Someone cut it down not too long ago. Fresh chips under the snow. Oh, that's not a lot then, is it? Hot springs, though. Can this become more Kamidori than we'd expected? Just joined, Dake. Anything about the game so far that wowed you? I was really quite happy with this interface here. I'm not going to pester New London too much, though. You guys aren't working 24-hour shifts, but you don't need to. I'm short on steel. Oh, and I'm short on people here that aren't too sick to keep working. The efficiency is high in here, so I absolutely want all those people working as hard as possible. To the point where I will pull you and shove you over there. Good. And with that built, this can stop being built. And we keep on keeping on. Keep it warm, though. Oh no, poor Suena would just be a block of ice. I think she can handle it. Besides, she can do with more defense. We can keep going at this for a while, I say. Yeah, this kind of tells us exactly how much of a while. Shipment for New London ready to dispatch. In that case, we're shifting over to steel, pretty please. God, that takes no time at all to switch resources. But I really, really, really want that steel. Tesla! Food, wood, steel. Yes, Tesla City once stood here. Testament of technology, human pride, and power of nature. Written in silence and stillness. Oh, man, it is. It's the same bloody... Yeah, we could die if we check it out. We won't take anything. Uh, a city founded by a genius inventor, once protected by some kind of electric dome, fell into complete ruin. The most valuable resources were taken out before the Great Storm. Now only packs of hungry rats roam the streets. It may be worth searching this place again, but we must watch out not just for the rats, but for anything. Really, the place looks dangerous. If we check that out, 50-50, our scouts die, and I'm not taking that, so let's just leave. My scouts are too valuable to me. Mirror Lake. Shattered Dreadnought. Let's check out Mirror Lake for now. Yeah, the RNG on those events, uh, on the Frostlands, I've never been a big fan of. Of course, uh, maybe that's because I had lots of steam cores on my scouts that got eaten by bears. Feels a bit arbitrary. And the only time I like arbitrary is when it's me being arbitrary. Because that's empowering. Alright, come on, we need to scrape out all the everything we can from here. That's a lot of steel to get, though, which is good. The administration doesn't seem to be on my case about steel and steam cores right now, so we'll hold off on that. But only for now. I want to invest all that steel and stuff, but I don't know where just yet. All of this looks pretty good. Hold on. Look at that. There's some kind of... Straddle carriers and steam lorries. If I get the wood for the difference engine, I might be able to significantly increase my output of steel there. Get shopping, guys. Hmm, I have too much coal. So let's call Canny on that. Switch you like so. And then we're okay-ish. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, right, yeah, there's more wood to be had right here. Um, I'm gonna pull you, send you all over there. Get me that wood. It's of vital importance. Jake, you'd their way to wait You'd there would be a way to spend resources to to make the place safe, says totally not Taxeno. I'm not sure I understood that. One of us had a stroke. But uh, make the place safe? The, uh, unlike the last autumn, there's no safety stuff here. The only thing is temperature. 
and I've already put a heater on down in the army warehouse, which has no inherent insulation, at least until we do this. Alright, there we go, it's not too shabby. Oh, of course I sent the engineers over there, didn't I? What a hoot. I don't need them researching with any particular speed, so I'm fine as it is. Yeah, it's just offers of wood and coal, and we don't want either of those. We do, however, want to take a dip in the hot springs. A small settlement built under the cover of rocks in which several dozen people live consists of several sturdy buildings and two large greenhouses heated by hot springs. Ooh! Oh, they don't look that well fed. Amazingly, people live here. Not only do they grow their own food, but they're willing to share it to the enclave of life, clinging to a few hot springs who was settled after the great storm by people from a town which survived with the help of another city. They set up the hot houses here, planted the seeds, as they say, to pass the gift of life. I like what they say, passing life. They gave us some food as a gesture of goodwill. They're eager to, eager to trade more in exchange for help with expanding their settlement. That is terrific. That's not a lot of food, but whatever. We take the food. We promise to build a training depot here. Ooh, construction team can be sent. Fascinating. But there's nothing else here. Oh well, back to the outpost we go. Only takes 20 hours. Now that we've found a promising food source, <laughs> talking about the greenhouses or the people, we should form a construction team. Unit in the transport depot, send them to the hot springs, build a permanent trading depot. Needs uh, workers, steel and wood. We have all of that and I do need the food. Um, I'll pull from the coal because we have plenty of coal. Construction team. Get yourself over to those hot springs. Hmm. That's more food that London <laughs> than London gives you. Yeah, but that's okay. London's doing the best they can, right? It's not easy. You know, London's not having an easy time of it. Let's not uh, let's not get too quippy here. Insulation will be done before the day is done, which is nice. Hmm, all things considered, I'm not overflowing with labor here. But that's all right, I have the resources I need to plow my way into the next, um, the next tech level, which should give me whatever increases the output of steel here, which is good, because I love steel. <laughs> it's not easy living without a generator the captain refuses to turn on. I did love doing no generator runs, but uh, I don't want to. A lot of people have kept asking me for new challenge runs, but I haven't heard of any appealing new challenges, which is why I was waiting for this next expansion to come out, which will inherently have new challenges. All right, difference engine drinks up the steel that our brother city really wanted, and I could still send him another dispatch. I'm not a monster, am I? There you go. Who loves you, London? Thanks for the 30 food. Interesting UX here. Hmm. Okay, sadly, I can't send my people down the mine for another 24 hour shift. Sunlight's reflecting on the surface of the ice, probably due to the temperature gradient in the air. There's nothing, but there is a victim's colony. Ah, right, those are the exiles of Tesla. They should be long dead. Uh, also, emergency shift o'clock. Get to work, guys, come on. For one dead body, the access to all these emergency shifts is so worthwhile, because the discontent isn't that bad at all. Okay, a little bit of it, because people are hungry. Actually, come to think of it, food's uh, really becoming an issue. You've got 37, you've got 9. London's sending over another 30, which is rather nice. Lesson learnt, though, for Extreme Run. Don't send more than you have to, um, because the moment they start saying they'll only send food back after you've sent them stuff, well, you've just sunk a load of things that you sent to them for nothing. Could you return to Tesla City later? Uh, no, it's blanked out now. We decided that whatever resources we could find were not worth risking lives of our scouts, and it was a good chunk of resources. 
Um, but I don't want to kill my scouts, and I refuse to save scum, so that's the end of that. You'll have to figure out how to enforce extended shift. Yeah. All they want to give me is wooden coal. Bit of a shame that I have to go into that interface every time I want to check what's available, but hey-ho. Absolute unit. Hey, we can make more, so there'll probably be other places. Uh, the only thing I'm really interested in is steel. No, that's not true. I might find somewhere that I need wood from, because... Yeah, we don't have a ton of wood available here. 433 and 250. It's not amazing. Especially if I want to bunkhouse everybody up. And I will at some point. Or will I, though? I mean, we've got infirmary. The infirmary is going to slaughter through the sick, no problem. How are you feeling about us, London? Favor is high. I really got to figure out how to balance that favor thing, because I feel like I could... Uh, I feel like every time it's high, I should be going, Hey, London, give me more wood. Oh, can you give me more raw food, by the way? No, we can't afford it. Okay, thanks. Um, I definitely don't want more people. That feels like a bad idea, because you'll just end up with more mouths to feed. Well, send me some wood. Hope they don't feel like I'm overdoing it. Just build everything out of steel. What, including our uh, our food? Not sure if you've seen or answered this yet, but the new expansion for the Battle Brothers is out, says Zerg. Uh, yeah, I've had my fill of Battle Brothers. I don't expect to be back to it. I mean, I enjoyed the game. It was great, but that doesn't mean I want to keep coming back to it. Also, this has been a 24-hour? Hell no. That's a mistake. Right, Victim's Colony with Survivors. When we approach the palisade, we notice the gate is ajar. We enter cautiously. We're surrounded by silhouettes of people wandering aimlessly among the settlement's buildings. They react to our presence only when we try to talk to them. It seems these people have lost everything in the great storm. Even the will to live. We can try to move them to our outpost, but even if they agree, we'll have to escort them. Not an idiot. Let's leave those charity cases. There was no point in trying to help them. Exactly. Let's go over to the Shattered Dreadnought. I'm going to use this as a waypoint because it looks faster. Um, right. The Carriers. Needs a bit more steel, but improves the output by 15%. That's an investment worth having. Sadly, I'm burning this 24-hour shift with nothing for you to research, but I really want that. And that is useless to me, so no way. I wonder if you could keep asking for new people until New London is depleted. Oh man, then we'd have all the power. Oh right, you guys arrived at the Hot Springs. Build up the depot. And now what do we have? This population is only 35. No shipments. Well, no shipments to send. But hey, our people rejoice at news of a food deal with the Hot Springs. We might have to return the favor, but we'll do that in our own terms. Interesting. So this is still communication with New London. How's the operation going? See, this guy seems really nice. Maybe the game makes uh, is going to make me want to hate him, but not right now. Okay, there's nothing I can do with him just yet. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll pop up in time. Oh, like now. Hot Springs, hello! Your people did a great job setting up the trading depot so quickly. Now we can start helping each other. <laughs> start by helping myself to your food. We're sending you our surplus of food. If you can, we can give you more if you provide us with resources needed to expand. We'd be grateful if you could also assist us with improving our housing and health care. Uh, well, that is great, but what else? <laughs> we need food. Okay, so I have to care about their favor. And they have wood for us. And they have steel for us. Interesting. How's our repertoire with them? Average. Average there as well. Alright, no problem. Sounds like there's trading to be done. Oh god, they're sending us 60 food and London's sending us 50 wood? Jings, I am. I'm drowning in resources here. I don't even know what to do with it all. 
Not feed my people, though, that's for sure. I'm not a chump. Okay, as soon as I get that steel out of you, there's research to be done in order to get more steel. A couple of people there in treatment. As soon as we get that steel, there it is. Damn, it comes in pretty fast. It didn't go up by one, one by one, though. It went up by, what, seven there? Anyway, increase that output. That is an order. The wood situation is not amazing, but I want that output. Not to the point, though, that I'm going to uh, bring down the sawmill, though. If anything's going to go down, it's the coal. We have plenty of coal and the ability to make more. So instead, I'm going to replace the sick people here with considerably less sick people. That bangs you up to full. And then I'm just generally going to make sure that all these places are as fit as fiddles. And anybody left over will be plucking out that coal in outrageously cold conditions. Alright, additional food. My favourite kind of food. Now you need to get to work by going to the Shattered Dreadnought. No, you're going to the Shattered Dreadnought. What do I even do with you? There's nowhere else to go. Well, you know, at this point, a bit of added labor wouldn't be too bad. So I'll disband you, get the wood back, get five extra people, and uh, tell them to get to work, of course. And anybody left over, if they could kindly uh, make some food. Wonderful. You may want that sawmill expansion, since you seem to have missed some trees in the north. Uh, what, you mean this? Ooh, maybe. But also maybe not. It doesn't look like they can actually be cut down, judging by this. I think those trees are just there for show. And that sawmill expansion is expensive, so I'm not exactly head over heels for it. Okay. That coal pile is doing us nicely. Everything's doing us fairly nicely, even though it's minus 40. And it's going to go back up to minus 20 soon. Honestly, we're having a good time. We're having a ball. Let's uh, slam down some wooden supports to make this more efficient, because we can slam down another emergency shift tonight and really drink up that steel. And I really want to drink up that steel. Don't know how long we're going to be here for. Get other survivors, maybe? More hands on deck? Yeah, but more mouths to feed, and since food is the linchpin, I can't really afford to have more people than I can feed. London's dispatch is ready, but I'm thinking no for now. After all, our friends over in the hot springs may want to... Hey, can, we, can you give us more food, by the way, please? You ask for a lot, but we agree. Hope you'll remember. All right, well, what are you sending me? 30 and 60. Ah, well, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm ready for them to ask for help from me. More than ready, but they might want some steam cores. Maybe I should shift those, uh, shift towards those tonight. Nah, I want steel. I want tons of steel. Metric tons, not imperial tons. I want loads of it. I'm soon going to have some extra hands when this is done. So yeah, labor is not the problem right now. They want wood, says Blitzcloud. I don't see anything indicating that they want wood. <laughs> Their favor is too low, that's fine. But they're not demanding anything from me. Oh, wow. No, that's incoming. Hmm. When you click the admin building, you mix the hot springs tab. Oh, so I did. Ooh. Right. Well, yeah, help yourselves, guys. Take it all. New London. We commend you for finding another settlement and making initial contact with a representative. Their crops will provide a very timely aid to our food security. However, we have to remind you that all external connections and food distribution network can be handled directly from New London. Immediately cease contact with Hot Springs and hand over the raw food you received. Not very well. We don't have time for that. Farewell. Okay. Sure. No problemo.
Oh my, conflict. The people have had enough. People are rioting. They refuse to follow orders from New London. No more masters, chants the mob. Enough is enough. A miner waves her mattock in the air. Bloody bastards, she shouts. They treat us like dirt, abuse our kids, and now they want us to give up. Our only hope for survival? No way. People have dragged the office workers from the outpost and kicked them out of the outpost as they stand. Should we intervene to let the clerks prepare for the... Oh, come on now, people. Show some backbone. Back down. How could they demand this from us? We'll be better off without these New London leeches. God, no more brother wars. We help New London, they help us. Think about all the food they sent us. You treacherous scum. Your outpost is officially disbanded and you all will be tried for treason upon your return. You have three weeks to convince us that you've changed your ways and wish to remain loyal citizens of New London. After that, you'll be hauled back in manacles and God have mercy on your souls, New London over and out. Bollocks! Okay, oh my, right. Are those guys really going back? I told them not to, uh... Did I choose the wrong thing there? I, I, I thought I chose the pro, uh, pro London one there. Oh well, what you gonna do? DDR read. No, I was quite certain I chose the pro uh, pro London one. All right, well let's go and talk to them. Ah, oh, no, that's that's the wrong ones. The option was to let them leave or kill them. Hmm. The option was to kick them out or let them prepare. No way not to get rid of them in that event. Huh. Both options send them away, you just let them prepare for the journey instead of sending them along their journey. Okay, well I did do the nice thing then. Right, uh, hot springs don't like us, so we're not going to be getting anything out of that. Uh, as for New London, I can't seem to communicate and they don't want more stuff from us. That's strange. Oh well, all is, uh, all is fine for now, probably. It's night time though, nobody's working. Which is a crying shame, get to work! Seek help in Frostland. With the communications cut, there's no way for us to walk back from the brink, even if our people cool down and have second thoughts about the whole independence declaration. We can only... <laughs> Slow down, nobody mentioned independence. Uh, we must assume we'll be a punitive expedition coming from New London. For this, we'll need much more manpower and resources than we have. Let's try to find more people. Maybe there are other settlements like Hot Springs. Worth seeing. Oh, come now. This is all a big misunderstanding. We should just send all the resources to uh, to New London and it'll be fine. Difficult times. Harsh words were said. Reckless decisions were made. We can't turn back time. We should now focus on searching Frostlands in hopes of finding other people out there. We have no chance against New London. Oh. But I love New London. It's my home. Hmm... You can send resources, the three, three buttons above communicate, but for outpost. Yeah, but that's for them, not with my good friends in New London. What you got in Windy Beach, by the way? Also, goods station. A warehouse, but isn't that New London's warehouse? I'm no traitor, let's go check out the Shattered Dreadnought. Complete food improvements. Complete housing and healthcare improvements. Oh, this is what they've completed? I don't know. I'm not going to ask for help against New London. They're my friends. And sometimes friends quarrel. It's just how things go. Mm. Oh, right. There are new things out here, aren't there? I guess we're getting those scouts back up and on the go. Good thing we have plenty of wood. Get out to the ice caverns to begin with. Mm hmm. Alright. Things seem fine to me, except for the lack of 24 hour shifts on our. Hey, you know, if these guys are doing 24-hour shifts, why aren't you doing it as well? Get to work, you scumbags. 
Should have read the fine print if you wanted to be an engineer in my outpost. There we go. Even more steel, I hope. It still says 10.5. But that's because two of you are going for treatment. I mean, if it was only essentially two people, then big whoop, but whatever. Let's pull from you for now, just so I have some backup. There you go. Much better. Mm, 12 steel per hour. You only dream of that most days. Hmm, what else, though? Not many of these really appeal to me. Additional scouts? Maybe. Hmm. I could really push it to the limit, go for automatic prototyping, and get the steam lorries. Huge investment, but I'll do it. Seems like the right thing to do. Shipment has reached the hot springs, so they're doing alright, right? right? Oh man, I should have uh, plucked New London for as much as I could before. How you doing over there? I really don't want to ask for their help against New London. Do I have to? Oh yeah, I have to ask the Hot Springs for help. I'm sorry to hear that we were the cause of your clash with New London. Yeah, you can rectify that by sending me all of your food. If you help us, we might support you later in your struggle. We'd be grateful if you could set, help us setting up basic healthcare and building bunkhouses. We lack manpower and resources to do this by ourselves, and we dread that we won't survive another storm. Well, we'll think about it. How can we help you? Healthcare, send people. Hmm. Okay, so, 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 so. We could send them what they need for basic dwellings. Could help. Oh, I've got. Uh, I got everything they need. Damn, I'm so nice. Yeah, on you go. This one's on me, lads. Sure, it was expensive, but it was it was the right thing to do. Am I sending them sick people? Uh, I don't think I did. What a shame. Alright, wood and steel, pieces of metal trapped thick layers of ice, give it to me. Between the scattered elements of the ship's structures, we find an engraved nameplate USS Prometheus. So this is all that remains of uh, one of the dreadnoughts used to found Tesla City. The great storms buried it under such a thick layer of ice that we have no hope of uncovering it. Perhaps a spring thaw will allow us to get to it someday. Well, not for now, and there's nothing else out there. We could go to the Stormwatch and pick up more people. There was some... Um, uh indication that people will be needed, but I kind of want to go over and check out the goods station, so let's go there first. Not exactly struggling on people front right now. Are we free? Now that New London no longer controls our affairs, many of the people say they feel free for the first time in their lives. True. We lost their guidance and support. We gained independence. We don't have to do their bidding or ask permission to cook soup. We can pass our own laws and decide what to do. There's a petition to change the name of our settlement since we're no longer an outpost. What should we do? No! We are one and together with New London. Oh, but regardless, I can sign laws. <laughs> oh, it was inevitable. Enjoy your sawdust burgers. Won't we get sick if we eat that? That's why we have an infirmary, you dense lass. Okay. Yeah, jeez, lots of sick people. Oh no, most of them are just going to eat, which isn't so bad. How come you pick that option, not soup, says Cerberus? An excellent question. Soup. Uh, does not give you quite as much food as sawdust does, and it generates discontent. I have quite a lot of discontent. I don't want to push it further. I want to use that on 24-hour shifts. Um, sawdust gives you so much more food. It uh, 
Yeah, increases your food by 50% instead of just 25% the suit does. Uh, and it makes you a little bit of sick people. Insignificant. That's exactly why I have infirmaries. Well, an infirmary. Right, this is our waypoint for the ice caverns. Let's go check it out. Signing sawdust before extended shifts isn't the Jake I know, says Asselcore. Food is our issue. Raw output is not. Discontent is an issue. Cold homes, you say? Okay, it looks like it's just going to get colder from now on, but that's okay. You're done, so down you go. And I'm going to have those engineers help with the tech. Dismantling, but that's okay. Get that done quick. Get the resources back. I'm actually going to change this out for food rations. And with that done, get to work. They say they want to eat. Not on my watch. I'll turn that off since people aren't working in these places right now. It's better just to have a bit of heating for them. Otherwise, we're okay. Little do your settlers know you're just being a vassal of another city was actually keeping them safe. Now they have to deal with Jake without restrictions. I was hoping that I that we would catch it earlier and not immediately break away, right? I'm not a monster here. I want to be good chums with New London. After all, I did a lot for New London. But at least we get to keep our resources for a bit. Ah, I should have put on wooden supports, but I didn't, and we're a while away from the next emergency shift. Oh well, just guzzle up that steel. Uh, we're going to have a big thaw, but somewhere around here I want to start investing in bunkhouses because it's getting a tad chilly here. Do, we do have good space for another, like, 50 folk here, but we don't really need it. We're kind of running out of jobs for people to do, especially with that wood going the way it does. Actually, maybe using all my wood and the wooden supports here is not a great idea. Steam lorries, 25% faster. That's big. So we're doing it. If I can just find a place established in a forest that wants to give me lots of, uh, lots of wood, then we are done and done right, as they say. Well, I say that. Slam you over there like that, and we're good. In fact, I even have some free people, so... Uh, mm, not that free. You will hang for New London. I heard they set up a new platform near the generator just for you, says I, guys. I can talk my way into and out of any situation. New London and I will see eye to eye before long. Do I have to send them wood for food? That is not a good deal for me. They got all their stuff there. Their population has increased, but they'll still only send us 20 raw food, which is rough. They got their basic dwellings and pump repair and helping hands. How else are you doing? What can we do for you? Food we Oh, they would even send me steel? Amazing. Uh, how can we help you? Improve our health care. Send people to help. I mean, I will think about it, but not very hard. My heart lies with New London. They're probably pretty weary by now. Okay, your people want to build a medical post in our settlement. It's not necessary in our opinion. We have our ways of healing. The aura of the springs is a cure in itself. We don't trust engineers in their mechanical way of thinking. We'd rather not have them around. You can help us in many other ways. Medical post will be unlocked. What do you mean? Whatever. Deal with it. Hmm. Alright, that's probably it. Oof. They demand quite a lot of our people. We do need to grab more people then. Dang. Hmm. Well, that's a thought, isn't it? Well, these engineers are done with their tasks for the day, so I'm going to send over that healthcare whether they like it or not. Renovate their pumps for a lot of everything that I don't really have. Sure, take it. More helping hands. Jeez, they, they are sucking us dry of people here. I need to go and pick up the other guys. Wish, I, wish I'd picked up the losers from Tesla City's uh, outcast lot now. We're down to about as many people as we started with. Yeah, I wish I could send them the children, but that's not... Not a possibility right now. There we go.
we go. Steam lorries. That's what we're talking about. I wonder what else is even needed at this point, though. Need is a relative term. Because tech is expensive, that's for sure. I could burn more efficiently, but it costs a lot, and it's not like coal is a big issue. I think I'd rather improve my heaters. But then they become twice as expensive. But not if I get efficiency upgrade as well. That might well be worth it. Okay, ice caverns. Food and wood. My favourite. The caves we found uh, frozen human corpses torn apart by wild animals. In the bodies we find boxes uh, containing results of scientific research. We cannot comprehend. I remember you finding this in New Home as well. No trace of animals. Nothing of interest. Okay, but we still find some food. Fair enough. Let's go over to the station ruins then. There's plenty to explore. Aren't there still people there to pick up, as you will decide later? Yes, yes there are. Not over in the Victim's Colony, but over in Nansen's Stormwatch. I'll go and grab them on the way back with the Northern Scouts. Alright, laws. Mm. We don't have enough sickness to justify rushing anything to do with uh, healthcare. This infirmary can take care of 20 sick people, and we're not going to get 20 sick people, so I'm not worried about that. I should be more thinking about extended shift. If I didn't have anybody die, I could have ignored cemetery and signed my own law. Oh! But there's not really any jobs for the children to do other than picking coal, and that's not a priority right now. I'd rather squeeze everything I can out of our existing shifts. Looking at you first. Looking at you and you second. And I kind of want to do you as well. So there you go. I love the excitement he gets when he realizes that child labor is an option, says Meteor Sleep. All these kids that have been eating our food, and food has been tight until I turn them into delicious burgers. Well, they could at least do something for me. Why are people never thinking of me? Alright, come on. I don't like not having the steam cores, but we really don't need a mine as long as we have this. Right, observatory ruins. That was just a waypoint to get to the goods station. Did I? Oh, let's make it through the day. Maybe tomorrow will be better. We find, look at all that hope. Almost too much hope. Almost too much food coming in as well. What am I going to do with all this? Increase the food production, send materials and staff for a medical post. I'm working on that. In fact, are they not already there? Maybe I need to send them the, uh, the helping hands as well. And I need ten civvies for that. I really don't want to send them off when I am so short on shivy, eh, so short on civvies. But hey ho, uh, get to work. There are some wooden supports. Get me that steel because God knows I need it. And with this, fourteen point four per hour is crazy amounts of steel. For some people, the shift was on earlier. You can micro that to squeeze out even more, but I did not. Like you turn on extended shifts before they even get to work, for example. Uh, it's too toasty for these guys to be heated up. Uh, it's fine to have you on. It doesn't cost that much coal, and it stops them getting sick entirely, so let's keep them nice and warm. I have a hunchy feeling that steam cores might need to come back soon. Yeah, me too. Wow, even with two people in treatment, it's got 180% efficiency. Let's kick out those that are in treatment and find a couple of renegade sawmill workers and shove them in here. Wonderful. Got 200% efficient. It's crazy.
All right, the heaters are improved. However, that was kind of a trap. They don't need to be improved right now. I'm going to turn them off everywhere that they're on, because then they're just going to drink an unnecessary amount of heat. And then we're going to improve them so that they cost us only one to run and give double heat. Once the wood is gone, you can send them to people they need. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. Once this uh, sawmill shift is all done, they'll be sent over. Eight per hour? Yeah, this will be done soon enough. They'll get the helping hands, but, you know, I need my own helping hands here soon. This is going to be really interesting on extreme. Probably going to be really hard on extreme. Winter home ruins and steel bridge. Mm-mm. Fall from high, thick snow covers, collapse roof, mast. Yeah, fun and games, but... Hmm. Winter hell ruins first. Do you think this will be harder than winter hell? I don't know. The temperature isn't that pressing, but maybe it gets worse on extreme. Food and raw food. There's a small goods station built at... Da -da 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 -da. Okay. What do they have here? Nothing, but there's an isolated camp. Oh my. Whatever the warehouse contains does not belong to us, but, well, it no longer belongs to anybody, so we broke into it. Found some canned food, frozen meat. Both will certainly be very useful. Let's go to the isolated camp. Makeshift detention camp? What is going on with our good friends in New London? I don't understand. Right, you guys have done your job admirably. Tear that down. The big worry is that I'm out of wood now. If I want to do the big upgrade to bunkhouses, that's going to be a bit of a no-no. I might have to rely on coal generation instead. Mm, dismantling and going to dismantle. Well, that's fine. That's all done. So away you go, helping hands. Damn right I've earned it. My favor is pretty high with them. Maybe I could demand some stuff from us. Uh, from them, rather. We need a lot of food. <laughs> we don't, though. I just don't know how the favor thing works. Hmm... Alright, well, it couldn't hurt to grab a bit more food. You asked for a lot, but we agree. Alright, sure. Well, maybe I'll just send it straight on to New London. Sounds like they need it. Alright, this sawmill will probably be exhausted before the end of the day as well, which is nice. Can't wait to emergency shift these guys. I'll be able I'll be sure to turn this off so it doesn't cause extra discontent. Actually, discontent's far too low. That sounds like I need more emergency shifting. Get to work. Hmm. There we go. All done. Ah, well, this is pretty good. And since you guys are done, enter 24-hour shift mode. Get me that steel. Actually, maybe do both. I feel the, the lack of steam cores is a bit disturbing, and I can't help but feel they will be needed. Uh, I don't really have good jobs for children, but it is good for them to get to work, so get to work. Here's your job. And yeah, I agree, somebody will need to pound that coal for you, but we now have a surplus of workers. Kids should be learning, not working. Come now, it's on the job education. Right, heater efficiency is good. Great, I'm not going to plow on other ones right now. I will, however, strongly consider house and house redesign. That'll be really good for when it gets uh, colder. Infirmary mechanization will save me workers, though. But house is so toasty. Especially when the temperatures aren't that threatening right now. Maybe there'll be a second storm and we have to survive that. Come on, you London, talk to me. Don't have to be like this. I feel really sad without New London there with me. Look, we'll even have some people overlooking the work of the kids. It's so warm that nobody's even getting sick. I should de-staff the, um, the infirmary. 
Winterhome ruins. The ruins of a city brought down by an apt rule of a selfish and incompetent leader. I don't know what you're talking about, game. Finally destroyed the, by the explosion of its badly operated, irreparably damaged generator. We didn't think we'd ever return here. Those who managed to flee left long ago. We have no idea what happened to them, apart from some of the evacuated children who found shelter in New London. Winter Home has become a monument to the human ignorance and hubris, and its destruction is being completed by nature. The great storm covered the ruins of snow and ice. Only the regular pattern and mounds of depressions reminds us that this white shroud covers a world of human hands. Destroyed automaton, eh? Well, wow, there was still something to take. I stripped that place bare. Um, we'll go this way. It must be the automated coal mine that... Oh, <laughs> and there are children down it? My kind of mine. Yeah, I'd probably just take the automaton and rip it apart from steam cores because there's no way to power one here. We have more food incoming. We're sending out the helping hands. No more units to set out and set up. Lovely. I'm glad I'm helping out with their healthcare even if they didn't want it. They're probably going to have some event where they get horribly sick and then I go, ha ha, so much for your hot spring saving you from malaria. Right, hot spring camp. Tent surrounded by barbed wire. Fence and several people, probably guards. After we take a closer look, it turns out this is a quarantine centre belonging to New London. Our former home was affected by some epidemic they tried to suppress, and they put the infected here far away from the healthy population. We decided to steer clear of this place before the guards noticed our presence. But there is a deep fra- oh, I don't like how close I'm getting to New London here with all these goodies. Yeah, my scouts are actually pretty laden. I want them back, but not, re not just yet. Can I ever dismantle the thing I set up here? Mm, doesn't look like it. Shame, because that was expensive. Ah yes, malaria, the tropical disease well known for summer vacations in the Arctic, says Maley. And that's exactly why they wouldn't see it coming. Glad you understand. This is urgent. We need your immediate assistance. A geyser has erupted, causing damage to the crops and many injuries among both ours and your people. The burn victims need advanced treatment. We don't have the proper technology. We ask ourselves if we should have. We never needed it before your arrival. We need to send the victims to you for treatment, although it's dangerous due to the severity of their burns and the distance. We await your answer. We'll send wood and steel in a steam core. Or we'll take care of them. Ten gravely ill will be sent. Actually, that's good for me because I want more population here. Yeah, sure. Come on. Come one, come all. This is what I set up an infirmary for. I'll rip through the horribly sick in no time. In more ways than one. I hope those weren't our, uh, our chaps that got ravaged there. Alright, we got house, but I want house redesign. Costs a lot of everything. My biggest concern is my significant lack of wood right now. And I, mm, average, could you please... Uh, now that their housing and health needs are met, we can focus on ramping up food production. Repair the pumps, expand the cultivated area. We need more people. Oh, okay, could could you maybe give us some, I don't know, wood? Oh, it already did the pumps and the dwellings and the helping hands and stuff. We'll see. It's only getting a little colder, it's nothing to worry about. I will, however, turn back on my excessively efficient heaters. Well, for those that need it, which is pretty much nobody. You only have one person that's sick. Okay. Chomp them out and chuck you in. 
uh, house, but uh, never build houses without house redesign unless you're operating on a whole different mental plane than me. Let's see, she's sending us 50 wood and 10 ill people. Ill people are fine, so we can take care of them in the infirmary. It'll be even more fine when I can uh, do sustain life and overcrowding. Overcrowding is so good. Like, it's almost too good. It isn't, but it's almost too good. Don't like how slow my scouts are, though. What you got for me? Destroyed automaton, a worn, crushed, rusty automaton. Steel doesn't rust, though. We explored the rusting hulk of the automaton. It was general purpose machine, probably used by Winter Hell in the field to help construction. Abandoned. Irreparable damage. And the steam core's been removed. <laughs> That's because I went there and took it. Okay, Chings, there's so much to explore here. Um, let's go to the Grave of Bones. It went quick from nobody dies to who cares as soon as he could found his laws on his own, says Franconian. That's fine, though. As long as we control it. I could get some wood by destroying this road, but I don't need to right now, so I won't go out of my way to do so. The coal situation is better than okay. Hell, it's very good. And the situation down these mines is amazing. But even more amazing when I give them some wooden supports. But I'm going to hold off on that, because wood is a problem. It's a sizable problem. The moss. Our medics in Hot Springs report that the locals are using some kind of moss as a mild sedative. They recommend its use to help with anxieties. Our people suffer. The problem is the locals don't want to share it. We want some, but we'd have to steal it. Hmm. Exhausted. They'll be displeased. They'll be happy that we didn't steal their stuff. Come now, we're honourable. We are ambassadors of New London. We're not going to sink to such depths. Right, what's up? I think sustained life and overcrowding, it is the way forward. Sustained life actually kind of sucks, but um, if I don't need to take radical treatment, I'll avoid it. Yeah, only those hippies down there do drugs. That's why Grandma seems so happy. Difficult obstacle. We've established the crevice extends beyond the ice sheet deep into the rock. Could be the results of tectonic movement. Might have cracked under the weight of the ice. Is that so? Either way, there's nothing to do here. Snow Rover. God, there's so much to check out here. Maybe I really should get those extra scouts. Yeah, we will. Once we're done with the house redesign, we'll do exactly that. I'm going to take away some of you, slam you in there tell you to work extended shifts, tell all of you to work extended shifts, and I'll slam in a 24-hour shift on you so we can get it done tonight. There we go. Get me those scouts. We need them. Houses, not very expensive to build. 17 wood and 15 steel a pop. We have the steel, we don't have the wood. To make matters worse, we will never get the wood. Well, I mean, I have all these that I could actually tear down since I don't actually need them right now. There's a faster way to do this. Do this and shift hold. And then suddenly I've got more. But it's not necessary right now. Everybody's pretty warm thanks to our brisiers. It's funny that they have a brisier there but also burn their own ones. How much wood in the scouts? Scouts take 40 each. And we have the wood for that so it's okay. Could always tear down some stuff that uh, I have that uses too much wood but nah. I didn't think wood would be such a problem. Steel's great, steam cores are great, wood not so much. Also I have a gravely- oh shoot, did they get here already? Oh, they must have. Treat them, treat them now. What do you mean you're going to rest? You're not allowed to rest. We've got sick people to take care of. Well that one will be fine in an hour so it's okay. We've heard that the burned victims have arrived near settlement after a long and exhausting journey. We're horrified to learn that almost half of them died. The rest in a critical state. Please help them immediately or they will die too. Establishing a safe and fast connection between our settlements should help prevent such tragedies. Our people might distrust technology, but we can see its uses. We offer you steady food shipments every two days if you build a safe route. Five of our people died? 
Yeah, okay. Well, I guess they got here just to die. What a shame. Damn, that hit hope as well. Hmm. Oh well, what was I to do? Uh, you wanted something now. And also, I guess these are places that I have to go and... Oh god, send a construction team here to build a... Oh, but then I need a construction team. This is getting expensive on my people. I need more. And I neglected to ask London for more back when we were on speaking terms. And our favour with uh, you is low for reasons unbeknownst to me. This is costing a lot of stuff I don't have. There you go. Yeah, God, I need more wood for sure. I've got things I can demolish for wood, but oh well. Hmm. Alright, there are more people to be had over in Nansen's Stormwatch, but I need the... Well, I'll get my tech to get additional scouts, then we're going in for it. They're still researching, but there's more researching that they could certainly do, so get to it, chaps. Get the scouts back. You need the wood. No, we'll research the scouts and then go and uh, go and do what we can. Let's see, the scouts have 60 and 70. That's quite a lot of wood, but it will be burned through in no time. I think I've done too much research, that's my problem. Upgraded this. Dispatch and receive, supply shipments, construction teams, da 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 Seems expensive, but let's do it anyway. Alright, the bone grave. Numerous human bones lie scattered among the stumps of frozen trees. Most of them have tooth marks, probably by starving wild animals, which must have unearthed them, desperately searching for food. We'll bury them before leaving. That nah, doesn't sound like fun. Uh, the springs, the children's mine. There's so much to check out here. The children mine probably has children, so I want to leave that to last. Let's go and check out the springs first. I'll use the automaton as a waypoint because it's faster. Hmm. While the safe route's being established, we need to reduce the risk of our next eruption. Your engineers want to flood the caves to stabilize the flow. This will stop eruptions and might give us... Ooh. Uh, might give us bigger crops. It would also destroy the cave moss we're using as mild sedative. We'd strongly prefer to drill a borehole to reduce pressure. Eruptions will still happen from time to time, but such is the nature of this place. Hot springs will be displeased. Raw food shipments will rise by 10. Overflow redirection will be... Unlocked. Hot springs will be pleased. Borehole will be unlocked. Screw the hippies. Kill their drugs. Need to finish this upgrade as well. Okay. Bloody hippies. I mean, they can be the smug ones. They have a hot spring, so heating is not an issue for them. Oh, God, they want so much wood. <laughs> I can't give you endless amounts of wood here. Uh, I need to set up my own units. God, these people want everything. Right. Plus 10 raw food per shipment's pretty good. But food is no longer an issue. That's the, that's the burning thing here. Oh well, I'll hold off for a bit, because I really want my own scouts ready to rock and roll first. And we have the spare people to send out. Wait, it's probably going to take uh, these patients, which is not what I want. So here's how I'm going to handle it. Going to make sure those sick people are there. I'm going to grab five healthy people from here. There's a big risk to sending gravely ill people out in an expedition. They can die on their way out, which is obviously not what you want. Uh, let's go... Oh, jeez, I'm going to forget about it if I do that. Go to Remnants first as a waypoint. Get those kids plucking that coal. And in terms of tech, I'd love to boost the scout sleds, but I, wouldn't, I do not even know the level of wood I need for that. Temperature doesn't seem to get that bad, though. I mean, really... 
I don't see the need to be pounding into our research anymore. There's nothing that really calls out to me. Burners, burning a third less coal is not a big issue. I need coal, uh, I need wood rather. Yeah, none of this is terribly necessary right now. Let's pull back our engineers. Maybe switch out those engineers with some of these workers. And then suddenly I have 15 workers. And then... Make that construction team and send them over and get these. Oh, God, it needs even more wood. That's a lot of wood to, to be dealing with. Okay, well. Forget that, friend. Research the charcoal kiln, says Priamos. Ah, never. You can send it to the Stormwatch directly. You've been there before. Oh, that's true. That is true. I forgot that. Good point. Give me those people. We need them now. Didn't really need them earlier. Snow Rover. Steel. And another place to go. The frozen corpse of the driver is still inside. Such rovers we use to scout ahead. But never alone. It's too dangerous. That means that some convoy has passed here long ago. Probably in a hurry. Otherwise, they'd have taken the body to bury it. Probably over this wreck. So much so much minimal resources out there. Okay, drying spring, then maybe steel bridge, children mine, and then back to the outpost. I mean, it's not like I'm in some kind of hurry here. I hope not. Ah, well, we have 16 days for the confrontation. Hopefully, I have plenty of resources to send to New London to make up for this. Oh, but it is going to start getting colder. I need that wood so that I can... It's average here. Send me some wood, please. I need it badly. Yeah, suddenly food is just a non-issue. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Damn, this scenario starts seemingly stupidly easy and then starts throwing things at you, says Lord Dem. I'm eh, not so sure about that. The things it's throwing at me aren't uh, aren't that bad. We can handle it. My research is completely dead, but that's okay. I think it's for the better to kill my research right now. But I'm really short on jobs for my people. I'll make as many... Um... God, this is for wood as well. I'll make as many rations as I can, and then just turn off the food economy for a while. Also, this doesn't need to be heated at all. Knowing how much resources are actually limited after your first playthrough will make this so much easier. Yeah, doing this on extreme from the start would probably get me caned. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Uh, I really want to throw some wooden supports there, but maybe wooden supports are a trap. Maybe. It's a good efficiency boost, but wood is such a linchpin. Okay, overcrowding, even though we don't really need it. This place becomes a whole lot more efficient. Certainly is more economical than just building more facilities. Yes, I'm glad you understand that. Yeah, it's a bit chilly there, but uh, you're the only one I think I want to heat right now. And this place is... God, they're in danger of heat stroke in there. This is so weird. Like, normally you just focus on your city, but now there's so much out in the Frostlands to, to care about. I like the change of pace. I'm almost tapped on coal space. Hopefully you guys get cooking in that cookhouse. Yeah, they're complaining about a lack of space, but that's what people do. They complain. Okay, come with me. Don't want any dead, and then I'm going to check over the high pass and go in that direction. 
I'll really have to scratch my head and think about what the best ways to um, to expand here are. Actually, that's a good point. I should make a save here. Uh, new save file. Call it think. So I can come back before extreme and consider what's really needed. Wasn't there 10 engineers? Did he eat them? Um, maybe. Maybe they die over the course of... No, I think it was 22 and 9. Somebody earlier said there were 31, right? Drying springs. The springs are barely flowing. The great storm has somehow dislodged the water circulation. Disrupted it, rather. Supplied the heat. Debts. Freezing. Plants protecting. Died. Okay. Nothing. Steel bridge is next. Then the children's mine. My people are still slower than I'd like them to be, though. All these five idle people are sick, and there's nothing that I could really benefit from uh, doing more research on, as far as I'm concerned, because I'm stuck on resources entirely. Alright, memory of giants. Looking at this massive bulk of a trailer, can't help but marvel at the power of the land dreadnoughts, which roamed Frostlands before the Great Storm, bringing scores of people north. Where was this convoy headed? We won't find out. Well, I will take their goodies. Um... Right, if that's the case, maybe you should go to Steel Bridge and you deal with the kids. Then you'll both return at the same time. Or something like that. It's a plan, at least. Turn all that food... Man, I just don't need the food anymore! Jeez! Signing that law changed everything. Okay, this is changing out for coal, so there's space for more coal. And suddenly I have five spare hands to help out. So I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. They're going to rest. Damn, how dare they think about resting. Hmm, but then what would I do with the uh the engineers if I don't want them to Ugh, I don't know. But all and what I do know is that I hurt efficiency there. Visit New London for science. They might kill me. Oh, but we can go there. There was nothing to do last time, so I doubt there would be something to do the next time. Speaking of things to do, it's time for you to get back to work, everybody. It was well worth that one death, so we can do all the 24-hour shifts we want. Very well worth the death. I'm drowning in steel, though. What am I meant to do with it all? Oh, right, sending it to these guys would be a good start. Helping Hands 3. Oh my god. They want even more of my people. But I need that wood. Like, they want all of my wood and then some. Can't I find another settlement to, um... Yeah, search the Frostlands for other settlements. I haven't found any. You know, ones that might give me something like wood. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well maybe all these rations are going to help me uh, with another settlement that I find. For now, I don't think I want to send them any of this stuff. Yeah, I think there's going to be more stuff out here and I just haven't gone to it yet. We'll call Canny for now. Although we are about to get more people. Set up that children's mine in something like seven or eight hours. Divert you over to Steel Bridge. I'll probably forget, but that's how it goes. Okay, we got the people. And I got, like, no work for them to do as well. Get over to that high pass, please. Well, if I've got no work for them, maybe I'll just send them as helping hands. Off you go. Phew. Okay. I mean, other than the lack of my people working, this is very okay. 
But I have bulldozed the wood economy so hard, and it's really hurting me now. Well, it's like I always say, in games where wood is a thing, it's the most important thing. But if I'd known how this was going to evolve, I definitely would have grabbed those people. Bit chilly in the tents, but they'll survive until this time. Then they will maybe survive. Children's mine. This mine was far from depleted when we last sent people to it. Smoke's coming out. People are living here. Oh-ho! We go inside, it turns out that the mining corridors reach deep under the permafrost and give shelter to dozens of children, accompanied by a handful of old, frail people. The mining machines broke long ago, the coal is being extracted by kids whose small stature allows them to traverse the tunnels easily. Aha, uh -huh. just as a banana is designed to fit perfectly in the human hand, a coal shovel is perfectly made for a child's hand. The children are proud that they managed on their own and reject our suggestion to move. We can help them by improving their conditions for coal. But I don't need coal, so I don't think I care about you whatsoever. Get back to the outpost with that much needed wood. Man, all this uh, thinking about children going down the mines. It's made me thirsty. I need to go grab some water. Alright, shipmen reach the hot springs. I want to see... Alright, oh, well I can't do anything for them until I set up a trading depot, but heavens knows I don't have the wood for that. I need to find the wood outpost and get trading hard. I've got 15 days until confrontation after all. Build a safe route depot upgrade in hot springs. Oh, but it also tells me to build a trading depot in the children's mine. God, this is going to be rough. I wonder if uh, New London actually ever does supply you with people if you ask for it. Maybe you need to get that early to have um, have the everything you need going forward. Mm. Ask for as much wood as you can from both settlements. I'm trying with the hot springs. It's kind of hard to know. Well, we know how we can help you, but you need to give us some wood. Wood is the linchpin for everything right now. I thought it would be steel, but I thought wrong. Need to make more space for steel, even. But I'm sure it'll be needed. I mean, uh, New London does want that steel. Alright, what do we have in the steel bridge? It's like we're picking apart whatever was left from the, the new home run. Workers are busy cutting pieces off the bridge structure. When we try talking to them, they rebuff us angrily and tell us to leave or else. Chase them away and dismantle the bridge. That could kill us. Stop them. The bridge will remain intact. The bridge will be defaced or worse. Well, whatever. Live and let live. I wonder if that cuts us off from the, the mine and stuff. Did I ever go to this sturdy shelter? Maybe that just appeared now. Well, whatever. We deal with it. Okay, the food situation is so incredibly good right now. I could set up a wee unit, but I need to find a place that has wood. There's probably going to be some like forestry grove over here that we check out. I hope so. What do the kids want in exchange for coal? I don't know. But that's not something I'm going to check until I have an in influx of uh, wood. Because I need that. Cold homes, too bad for you. I said we barely have many people that we need to, uh, to house. But I don't have the wood to set up better homes for them right now. 
might actually be worth upgrading the braziers at this point. To that extent, let's slam these guys down and tell them to get us improved blowers so that we don't freeze to death at that. And of course, uh, get to work, please. I'll heat you while you work, so quit your moaning. Jake, I think there's an option to recommunicate with uh, New London. Uh, I'm trying to click it, but it does nothing for me. Maybe I have to go and visit them. I will visit them with you guys once you're done there. See if we can amend or mend things, rather. Blimmin' some cemetery law stops me from signing other better laws. None of this is particularly necessary, though, so I think I'll just leave it be for now. Especially since practically all of them will require me to build something or take a permanent hit afterwards. People like ceremonial things, but they do waste time. And people aren't going to die here, so I'm not worried about it. Pub would be nice, but wooden steel, I don't have either. Might not be a good idea to visit London with a resource full scout, says Asselkur. Ah, oh, come on, we have to do it for science. Make child labor universal. The trouble is, they wouldn't really be able to work anywhere that mattered. At best, they could work the coal thumper, but their little hands already work in the gathering post fine enough. Although it should be working for longer. Oh, that's right, I disabled you. Perhaps I should re-enable you, but the, the heaters themselves do a great job. Nope, you'll stay off. It's not needed right now. Alright, what you got for me in the shelter? Searching the area, we stumble upon the door handle, sticking out from under the snow. We dig. To all scientists, if you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster. Well, I'll take what we can, but it's not much. Ah, let's go and visit our good friends in New London, and then get back to Outpost 2. With our most laden supply unit here, 100 wood, 25 rations, almost 100 steel, 25 raw food on top of that. Don't worry about it. Looks like favor with places is to use as much as you can. Yeah, it looks like if it's ever high, you need to plow through it. So I should have, uh, I should have suckled everything I could out of New London uh, in the early game. But I didn't know that, and that's why I play uh, play to learn, right? As we'd hoped, we found a pass leading safely to the other side. There's a shelter place where we could rest for a while, and there's a I don't know that word, but something about the dead. Hmm. They all seem old, do they? Come on, we need somewhere that has wood, and we need it badly. Will you at least save for the London one? I don't know what London's going to demand, but hopefully I can help London out with whatever they need. We've got the improved blowers. I can't think of anything else that I really want to research at this point. I don't want uh, larger um, braziers, because I can just build more of them, that's no biggie. I don't need a factory, none of this appeals to me, because it all costs me to research, but doesn't really give me anything I need. Uh, infirmary checklists and mechanizations are too expensive to justify their existence, and I can't even build houses because I'm so short on wood. So, down you go, down you go, let's even demolish this for res- nah, mm, yeah, demolish it for resources. No, nonsense. Keep it up. It may be useful yet. Faster scouts? No, I think we're coming to the end of what the scouts can check out. Plus, it's very expensive. 120 wood. I'd have to dismantle something for that. Okay, scouts are back. Thank God for that. Now, get over there as well. There might be more to explore. And also, since we have the people, let's set up that unit and go and build these things. It'll cost a lot, but that's just how it goes. Favor's too low for help. Alright. Farewell. Keep trying to hit escape to be done with that, but you have to click on farewell. You gotta be nice. You made the waypoint? No, you're just at New London, and they still don't want to speak to me. 
What a shame. Bring that uh, wood back. I should be able to start building these. You're going to do that, then that, then that, and then we'll have a good line of uh, everything. I still believe in New London. Right, build that safe route. We found a camp and the bodies of members of a scouts team. One of our people recognized his friends who disappeared during the Great Storm. Apparently, after losing contact in New London, they built the camp to wait out the worst of the weather. We would like to bury them properly, for which we'll need some wood. We kindly ask for your approval. Just claim the goddamn camp. Plus 40 wood? I could build four cemeteries for that. Yeah, are they burying them or building a church exactly? Dafties. Alright, get to the next one. What are you going to demand from me this time? We're pleased to report everything went just as planned. The place will serve as a great vantage point, as well as clear visual guide for the future expeditions going between our settlements. This section of safe route can be assumed as secured. Keep on moving, keep on grooving, and hopefully I can send you over here once you're done. One can hope. Alright, what do we have here? Turns out these are not rocks, but huge rusted cages. They're frozen bodies inside and some lie in the cages as well. These people were killed some time ago. Their frozen bodies have been partially scavenged by animals. They lie scattered without any semblance of order or respect. No respect for masters. If we had any doubts whether the bodies were thrown here deliberately, a sign entrance to the guilty dispels them. No man will have rule over others for all time, convicts of Frostland. These are probably bodies of the overseers who guarded convicts working on Frostland. The cages were used to transport convicts from place to place. So we never did this, but um, if you go the extreme engineer route on um, the last autumn, you can have a, a system where you have convicts working for you and the ruling elite that watches over them. I never did that, because didn't need to. Blasted through it too quickly. But we did chain up the engineers and kill them. These, uh, these give us a couple of places to go. Shipwreck camp and frozen sea. I'm glad I brought extra uh, helping hands here then. Go over to shipwreck camp. Rack of a seat. Maybe people make loads of wood from dismantling those. You get over to here, so it's a faster waypoint. We're all good. We're not going to build a trade post at the miners? Not yet. I need wood, right? I do not need coal. I could not need coal less. I'll even heat these people up as they work, even though they don't need it. But yeah, coal, not an issue. Even if I try to spend it all. Look, I'm even going to turn off your extended shift because it's so not necessary. Even though that's a bad idea, I should definitely keep it going. Right, build that last safe route, chaps. Glad I had all that steel. We're pleased to report everything went as planned. Great, then we've made the entire way and I want to move you over here because there's doubtlessly going to be a wood place for us here. Unless I find that they're mining wood in the wood mines. Alright, how you how you feeling over there? I've done so much for you. But you want more and you want it for wood. So uh, if you could please send me that wood that I will send to you, we'll all be good. If you start with average favor, couldn't you just ask for wood back immediately so it's free to build the outpost? Uh, the lesson I'm learning here is to always ask for everything all the time. It doesn't seem like there's any benefit to high favor, and if it's high, you're wasting additional favor gain. But that's something that I wanted to find out, and in my head we've found that out now. Isn't wood sourced from a wood drill? Yes, but we have no technology for wood drill over here. And we have no place for wood drill. Incidentally, we also have no place for steel mining. All we have is coal mining. And I've got little hands that can shovel through this coal thumper as it is. I'm surprised, though. I'm really surprised that they let you thump coal here. Probably for the better. Probably for my better.
Alright, the everything situation is pretty good, aside from the wood. I'm drowning in steam cores though, for the love of god, switch to steel. Oh, and once you're done that, come on lads, work a 24 hour shift, do it for me. Get over to frozen sea, keep it moving. Shipwreck camp, settlement built around a shipwreck. We guess that before the arrival of frost, there must have been sea here. The settlement is populous, but its inhabitants meet us with distrust, even hostility. Oh, jings. No kings, only men. The convicts were widely used on Frostland to build generators, deceived by false promises of amnesty and return home. Most of them were worked to death, carried in prison ships from one construction site to another. Hmm. I do like that level of efficiency. Righto, some of them have rebelled, and those we met here were successful. They killed their guards, took over the ship, set up their own settlement away from London's power. The hull of the ship, heated by steam boilers, protected them from the great storm, hearing that we too have rebelled against our master. Come on now. I still believe in you, London. They've warmed up to us. Excellent. Well, that sounds like a place with lots of wood, so get your butt over there ASAP. Get over to Frozen Sea. Neither of you really have that much, so it's okay. Now we've met and we've built this route, which is kind of cool. Hmm. Depot upgrade in Hot Springs. So that's right, they want that. Which requires, you guessed it, more wood. James, people are getting downright hopeful. Ah, there we go. Could set up another unit, but no, let's uh, get that route going just fine. Get more food out of them. And I want to do those infrastructure repairs when I can. I should never have sent resources for food, should have saved it all for the upgrades. But now we're learning, and learning is good. Doesn't seem to be anything left for these um, these scouts to do, so I'm going to pull them back. I'm going to enjoy that extra wood and immediately send it off for infrastructure repairs, and then cry over my lack of wood. It's something I seem to often cry about in my games. Gird your loins for work. Gird your loins for work. What? Alright, sure, why not? These guys don't even need to work, there's so much coal out there. But, might as well have them work, right? There's just so little industry for for us to have, locally. Oh well. There we go, let's build that trading depot. We reached the settlement, built around the shipwreck. We guessed that before the arrival of Frost, there must have been a sea here. Yeah, well, we know that, just set it up. And soon we should be able to communicate with them. Can I set up another unit? Yeah, alright, let's do it, lads. Let's go over to the children's mine and talk to them, too. Thanks to this trading depot you've built, we can help each other survive. One more thing. How much wood do you have? What's up? Speak your mind. Uh, what can we do for you, at least? We, ra we lack the basic facilities, we need them badly. We need basic healthcare, food, and a better way to collect resources. We won't survive. You've survived the great storm, man. You can do it. Anyway, we have problems. We need wood. Again, only 50 wood? Well, whatever. I need everything I can get out of you. You got some nerve. We can do it for you, but you'll owe us big time. Okay, sure. Why not? I've done everything I can for these guys. There you are. I'll send them steel, and I'll send them steel, and I'll send them healthcare, which largely needs steel. Thank God, though, right? These people don't want, um... They don't want wood, which means I can get wood. How much wood? There can't be more than six expeditions. Ah! I need that wood! 75 wood! Alright, well. Oh, there is more to be seen here. There's a ghost ship. Let's have it. Sounds dangerous, but that's okay. I was born for danger. Just keep getting over there and we're all good. Oh yeah, of course. Well, actually, while you're there, keep going in case there is more out there. 
So we kind of have more than six outgoing. As soon as one of them arrives, I'm going to want to... Oh! Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Proved well worth the effort. So what do I get out of that? That I'm keen to know. We confirm that a safe route between our settlements has been successfully established. It will allow us to quickly respond to emergencies and give them much needed sense of stability. From now on, we'll be sending you shipments of raw food every other day. We hope this route will benefit both of us. Great! Okay, so it looks like you go through everything and then you end up with a permanent back and forth. Well, permanent forth. Because they didn't do jack all. We built everything. But they'll permanently send us goodies. Thank God for that. Now about that wood that I desperately need. Okay, well we should be good now. And what do we have incoming? Wood, 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 and wood. Oh, this is so good. We should have gone here immediately. Screw the coal. This was such a waste of time. We needed this wood. Okay, let's go. Crikey, Jake. 600 viewers must be a fault in the reduction strats. Yeah, Frostpunk's like an anti-viewer reduction strat, which is a bit frustrating, but we make it... we make it work. Alright, forget the... forget the steel. Just get more coal right now. Get those extended shifts going. Hell, I can make them work 24-hour shifts, but discontent is a bit high. What with all those, uh... Hungry people, cold at home people. Oh, right, the heating level didn't automatically upgrade on the braziers. Normally it does. I guess it's because the generator normally automatically upgrades. Still, that should deal with discontent considerably. For now. <laughs> Not tomorrow, though. Hot springs. Your engineers found that someone sabotaged one of the main pumps heating the hothouses. Some crops were lost. It will take a day to resume food production. We believe this to be the doing of New London, or their sympathizers were anxious. Huh. To prevent this, we should work together even closer than before. Joint watch will be unlocked. Hell no, right? I'm not distrustful of New London like you hippies are. We can deal with our own setup. There it is, watchtowers. Locals can't be trusted. <laughs> oh Christ, they want even more helping hands? Why? And they want so much wood from me. God. Heaven's sake. Well, if you're gonna want if you're gonna demand all that, you can help me by sending me some wood. Jake, not all your homes are in heat zones. Build more heaters. You say that, however, if we look at the housing situation here, everybody lives in the livable ones. Barely, but they do. Which means we don't need to heat any of the ones that are cold. Do we get any of those helping hands back? Nope. As we can see, they've got a population of 65. Our own population isn't that good. It's apparently 117, but most of them are out there doing other jobs for us. Alright, well, at least the wood's about to come on in. I should invest everything I can into building up these guys as everything. These will arrive quite soon, very soon even. Shipment reached, shipment reached. I should be pretty happy with that. And the ghost ship. It is indeed a ship trapped forever in the frozen sea. Broken ice around it rises in dramatic waves. The ship carried hundreds of convicts whose bodies are still locked in cells, but the crew did not abandon them. We found their remains in the quarters. There's still plenty of food. We could take it. We can't be sure what the cause of death was in the crew and the convicts. Sounds like a trap. And I'm not into traps. Nor do I need any more food. Alright, get back home. We don't really need to be doing much else here. We've explored everything. All of this I should have left for later. But I didn't know that, so it's okay. I made all the informed choices I could. We know you have your own problems, but we have no one else to turn to. A disease is spreading among our people. Some of them will die if they don't get medical help that we can't provide. 
They would risk traveling to your settlement if you agree to cure them in exchange for your help. They're willing to stay and work for you. They're great workers, more than willing to pull their weight after they recover. Hmm. Well, that sounds good. Of course we'll cure them if it's what he wants. And if that makes him happy... Oh, no, it didn't really. <laughs> right, well, it's just steel and coal, and we have tons of both, so give him all of that. And wow, that steel goes down fast now, doesn't it? Even though I've been plugging the steel constantly since day one. How are you liking this DLC compared to the new autumn? I'm liking this a whole lot more than uh, the new autumn. This one feels like it's bringing over a lot more new gameplay stuff. But I don't know, new... New Autumn? It wasn't New Autumn. It was the last autumn. Uh, the last autumn gave us the endless mode that we had to build our own generator, which was really cool. Oh, that's tough. I won't be able to say until I've tried uh, endless mode with these new setups. Also, just noticed it now, but hey! Off they go. That's pretty cute. That's pretty very cute. Oh god, wood. Wood at last. I feel like indulging in houses, but maybe when we have a bit more free time. Ah, oh, but it's about to get really freaking cold. But I like houses, so get in your houses. Hopefully they build those up soon. I mean, they have houses to go, they have uh, tents to go to, but they're guy chilly. Alright, let's trade with these bloody children. They probably want wood as well, don't they? Thanks for establishing a trading depot. Now we'll be able to help each other. That is great. By the way, you got any spare wood? Good day. I hope we can keep saying this sincerely. It's not often you see me play with Maxed Out Hope, but people are happy. Jake, don't you need watchtowers? Uh, I think I was meant to set that up with you, right? There's watchtowers, but it's going to drink the wood and steel. And all of a sudden, steel's become a problem. Ah, oh, whatever. There's the watchtower. Oh, right. You can't function without your heater on now. It's a shame, but you'll make do. Nothing else to worry about. Groovy. Alright, there isn't actually anybody to build the rest of these homes right now. So, yeah, well, somebody's working on this. A whole bunch of them are, that's good. But not here, so I'm going to cancel some of these. A couple of you are trying to build it, but that's, that's a couple too few. I keep my people warm. Right, mining people. We have problems. Can you send us some wood? They can. They really can. Oh, they can send us steel as well. But I always need wood. So send me that wood. Maybe I should ask what I can do for them. We lack basic facilities. Yeah, where have I heard that one before? Hmm. Comfortable houses. No, no, I need... I, yeah, they're sending us coal for all this. I'm absolutely not interested in helping them whatsoever until we plow everything we can out of these guys. And that does mean sending them food and coal for wood. Lots of wood. I should be mashing that every moment that I can. Shipments are en route, though. I'll get us more wood. Just what we need. Because our little hands are getting plenty of uh, coal locally, which is good. There's no need to further our own research. Good. Oh, these houses are mosty toasty. Tonight, we'll probably upgrade everything that we can. Some people might get horrifically sick, but that's their problem. It's very specifically not my problem. Send them food, at least. You have enough of that. What, you mean these uh, these guys? Yeah, there you go, then. We do have plenty of food. Comfortable housing. We don't even have that ourselves. This shipwreck camp is what's really going to project me forward. Keep those houses coming. 
As long as they're in the heat zone, it's all good. We're really grateful for all the work and supplies you provided. We'd like to ask you to solve an issue, though. Your people are disturbed by the sight of our dead, whose frozen bodies we stored to compost them later. They want to build a cemetery and bury them like the old times. That's not our way. We want to respect the wishes of our dead to be returned to the circle of life, not trapped in the permafrost forever. Will you help us prepare a composting pit for them? They are bloody hippies, but composting the dead is a great way forward. How do we compost the dead? Wood. Wood that it were so simple. Alright. This is looking pretty good, though. I think we can keep the momentum we have. And that wood's flowing in. Don't even know what to do with it all. One thing that I do really want to do, though, is have more space for everything. So I'm actually going to set up a few of these, despite the high cost in wood. Just so I have more flexibility with everything, especially food rations, because people seem to really like eating those. Uh, no, not the mine. Hell no to the mine. I want to help out my fellow... Uh, Fellow renegades here. Mm, right. Get those houses done on the double. Was there an event there? There we go. Right, we managed to gain access to the coal hold. In the process, your people found the registry containing our sentences. Most of our people were convicted for minor offences under new, harsh laws intended to raise cheap labour. But it turns out there are also arsonists and murderers among us. The registry contains no names, just prisoner numbers. But we think it's fortunate we can give everyone new life in this new world. We ask you to destroy the registry. Murderers and arsonists. That's not something that an ambassador of New London should be allowing. We must find them. It's the first time I think we'll see exhausted on uh, favor. Yeah, okay. Well, too bad. Take this. Oh, God. There goes all, uh, all of that. Steel is going to be a bigger problem than I thought, but now I have the wood to do this. Next uh, 24 hour shift, we're going to slam down the wooden supports to squeeze out all the steel that we can. Murderers are workers too, says Paul of FPL. That sounds like some New London dissident. Can't be having that. Absolutely can't be having that. There we go. Right, 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 right. The wood and the steel did get savagely ravaged by our upgrades, but that's probably okay. People are going to get really cold in these tents, though. Really, really cold. Um, I'm going to cancel these for now if they're not currently being upgraded. Come on, folks. Get Oh, yeah, there was all this stuff to build as well. So I guess they are pretty busy. Hey-ho, I need space for that wood, though. Wood and more rations. At least people want rations and not raw food. Raw food would be a pain. And since I signed overcrowding, I can shove all the sick people into here. Somebody became gravely ill, but that's probably okay. As long as not too many more people get horribly sick. Maybe I could have delayed the houses building, but I really wanted the houses. So we'll have the houses. Send them more steel for their charcoal kilns. Great. Now that the first improvements are complete, let's build something that should benefit both of our settlements. A safe route. Ah, again. Okay. We'll start sending wood to you every other day. That would indeed benefit us, and that means benefiting everyone. Output. Yeah, we're back here, so we'll just bring you back. With that in mind, I might want to expand my coal thumping operation. It's a consideration. But not my favorite one. 
Let's disband you for now. And you guys are back as well, and of course, disbanded. Lots of unemployment, so I really want to build up these houses. Oh, but goodbye steel. Damn, do we need steel, right. Um, they don't have any sick people, and they are going to work, so emergency shift and wooden supports for them to pump out that steel as much as possible so we can finish off the houses and then get more uh, improvements done. Because I don't like my people getting as sick as they are right now. Can you double check the food ration depot? What, this place? I mean, there's more to be done here, unless you mean something else. Or in, if you mean my resources depot. I have one on food ration. I will want more on food rations, but we'll get there. Jake, ask for steel from wherever you can. I don't think I really want the steel so much. Faber is low here, so I can't ask for anything. You folks, however, you can give me... Do I want steel, though? Maybe I want wood. What are, what are my resources at right now? Steel is pretty hard to pump out. Whatever, I'll ask for the steel. Hmm, there was something there about... Uh, ah, right, the depot upgrade. I've got to do what we did before, and there are... Looks like there's only one place I have to set something up, and it needs 1575. We should be good on that, especially since we're pounding out that steel right now. Let's go. really won't. We'll finish these houses and see what we have left to play with. This place is working at maximum efficiency, as it should. Groovy. Now, one, two, three families. Okay, four houses should take care of everything. One, two, three... Are any of them still heated? Yeah, you're in a heat zone. Four. That should be everybody. So no need to worry about houses unless we end up with more population. Might be sent some more sick people. But look, we deal with the sick and we deal with them fast. Excellent. You have perma wood soon anyway, unless the safe route requires steel. Uh, yeah, you're right about that. It does require steel, but we're getting steel right now. What do we have incoming? A bit of wood and a bit of steel. 50 wood, 50 steel. But what we need is to set up another unit, which needs something there. Again, 50 steel. Funny the way that works, but we do have the people for it at least, so get going. Hopefully by the time you're there, there'll be plenty of steel for you. One can hope. You're going to be there in 14 hours, the steel will be here in 8, and I'm still generating loads of steel, so it should be fine. You forgot to trade food and coal for 75 wood. That is a great deal for the wood, so give me that. I don't care about the coal, though, right? You get steel for coal? And they only give us a hun... Oh, God. They'll send us from 50 to 100 coal. Yeah, no. No, no, no. Why would you ever invite coal when you can generate it so quickly yourself? For practically nothing. Jiffy Licious says, I'm so astonished she misses so much sometimes things are right in front of Well, if you try streaming yourself, you might find it's not that easy. That's one thing I really like about the mod challenges, because the people that try to the mod challenges here tend to be the ones that are quick to uh, spit the shade around here. As soon as they have to do something for themselves, oh, it's a different story. Alright, shipwreck camp. The heating and healthcare uh, have improved, but your medics say malnutrition is causing many to fall ill. We don't have much. We managed to survive on our own, yet perhaps it's time for us for help. We don't do this lightly. We don't want to use you. We know that you're in contact with a settlement producing food, so maybe we could talk to them. Um, we will send you the food. We need to be in control here. They might not be happy, but too bad for them. 
Will I send them the food, though? I don't know about that. You should always cut out the middleman unless you benefit from middleman. And we most certainly do. I won't do their depo upgrade just yet. I need you guys to go and do your work first. Then again, it'll take time for it to get there, won't it? So, there you go. Send it over. We need your help. We need better housing. These huts we're living in are too crowded and they don't hold the heat. We want to live separately. We used to think we could trust each other. We were proven wrong. Ah, separate quarters. That's fine. Separate quarters cost a lot of coal, but we have a lot of coal. We just don't have lots of steel. But their favor is still low. Everybody's pretty low, except for you guys. We need you to send whatever steel you have, please. It's amazing that they send stuff that they need themselves. There must be quite a lot of tariffs going on for that to work. This expansion feels as if 11-bit uh, thought, how should we change the game so that Jake likes it better, says Franconian. I, I doubt that. That said, I'm quite enjoying what I have here. People are still going to build. How long is that 24-hour shift still going? A while. Good, because I need that steel. I love how fast it goes up. Sometimes very fast. Those guys will be there to build the route soon. And then, oh man, I love those resources coming in. How long until London re-establishes its rule? 10 days. And I think during those 10 days we'll be able to maximize our development with all these people and get all the resources that'll make New London super happy. Everybody lives in these mega toasty houses. Almost dangerously toasty. I should uh, turn down the heating level on these braziers. Don't want my people to get heat stroke now, do I? Plus I might need to amass a lot of coal. Right. Right, right, right. So toasty to catch malaria. <laughs> That's what we're going for. Okay, build that safe route. A, st a stage of the safe route. Oh no. There's more. Of course there's more. Okay, well, get over there. Good thing we have all this steel and wood. What would be really handy if I could see their mood right here. Wait, maybe this is their mood. Or maybe that's the progress of how you're doing for all their, their things to get them to the next level. That's probably exactly that. Um, communication is key. By the way, we need more steel. We always need more steel. Thanks. Hey, you guys are happy as well. Uh... We need... Oh, workers. Well, I don't want workers. Just send me more wood. Then we're all good. Not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Upgrade their sawmill. Wood production will rise even further. I mean, I want to help you, but how much do I want to help you? You, want, you ask for a lot of steel from me. Give me the wood, then, since that just costs me food. I don't know if there's any time requirement on these. Like, if I just l waited for ages, would they go, Oh, no, this thing has gone bad because you didn't send us the goodies or not. In any case, I'm keeping that steel for my own, um, my own route. Once it's established, then we can talk. Why not ramp up coal production, since you're already both resources and manpower up? Not that heavy on my own resources and manpower right now. And I may have to send out a lot more helping hands. We'll see. Oh, we finally tapped into our food rations down a bit there. Where's this food coming in from? Hmm, kind of running out of space for it, aren't we? How about research? There's nothing worth researching, in my opinion. Oh, let's keep moving. I wonder what we'll accomplish today. Never normally see that. That's positively optimistic. Researching at this point costs a lot of resources. And, you know, do I really need any of these? Things that make me warmer, I'd rather just spend the coal, because I can make that easily enough. 
I did the stuff that really matters, maximizing coal and steam core production here. I regret the sawmill upgrade, that was unnecessary, but it was only 10, uh, 10 steel, so no biggie. Could make the braziers more efficient, but I also don't care. And this is so expensive, so no thanks to that. You don't need to be heated, so that's okay. Although, look at that, it's going to be minus 60 soon enough. We have the houses, though, so we're good. We're very good for that. I could even get house insulation if I really wanted to. Yeah, I'm not going for coal mining. I'm not doing things that are unnecessary here. I'm going to squeeze out what I can with what I have. Gird them good. Okay, I guess I will send you that and that. And I still have enough for you to do your job. The UI is really busy now with all this, uh, all these things going on. I definitely wouldn't recommend it for anybody that hasn't cleared the main scenarios first. Uh, while prospecting a safe route, one of our people almost fell into a hidden crevice. We checked the surroundings and unfortunately discovered the whole area is full of such dangers. Could build bridges. Yeah, secure the route. That sounds like a danger. So get on with that and go over to the rocky bridge. Need 75 steel, but we're working on the steel. We could work better on the steel for some wood. Hmm. I do need steel. Spend the wood. They're working overtime anyway, so I'm going to get 10 hours of uh, extra efficiency out of that. Worth it in my book. Range extension on the sawmill might get you a bit in the tech tree. No, you're probably looking at these trees, right? So if we check the sawmill here, it doesn't actually highlight them. Normally it does if the trees can be cut down. So I think they're just there for show. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. I don't even need to heat these guys. I mean, I will later on, but not right now. Because it only costs three coal per hour to heat these guys by two levels, thanks to this heater. New Londoners will respond in ten days. I think we're doing pretty good on everything for now. It's not your problem, but since we now work together, we thought you might want to have a say. Some of our people, men we trusted, were exposed as murderers. We don't want them among us, obviously. We've known them for a long time. We feel they deserve at least a chance of survival. They agreed to live in peace if we gave them some gear and supplies. And that will make their exile less of a death sentence. Can you provide them supplies? Hey, come on, I'm not a monster here. Certainly. What kind of supplies? Supplies for the exile. Coal, steel, and food rations. What? Oh, jeez. I couldn't even get all that back if I tried. Well, I'm not a monster, so there you go. Take it all. And you for oh right, I sent them a bit too much, but we'll get that steel. And you guys will establish that. There we go, safe route. They'll now send us all those goodies that we need. And now I get you back here and disband you to get the resources back. No, not necessarily. I probably want you over here so that we can set up this route faster. But I don't know if it starts from here or there. Mm, if I don't know, then I won't invest in it so quickly. Lots of stuff coming in, lots of stuff going out, too. Safe route ready. We'll make the travel between our settlements much faster. In case of an emergency, we can support each other. Every other day, we get 100 wood. Whoa, that's nice. Their favor is still low, low, and... Oh, average. That sounds like some steel. Always need steel. Such a linchpin everywhere you go. Do I still need more wood, though? I'm already trading for wood there, and I won't be caught dead trading for coal. And that felt like a cut out. Okay, so far so not bad at all. Jake, you'd have to finish the first round of assistance before you get root options, I believe. Okay, well, we can send them the stuff for their steel sawmill now. 
Steam sawmill, rather. And I always want more wood if it just costs rations and coal. Gimme, gimme. Now you guys are back. I'm thinking I will temporarily disband you. Get you back, get the resources. Sent out everything I can do for you. Whoop. Did I scroll through those? I haven't dealt with you guys in ages. I haven't done jack all for you, but that's okay. You're not important to me. Maybe start the cookhouse again. Not necessary for now. Should be okay. Just let the resources roll. I really like the convicts, though. I'll walk over hot coals for them. But this should be the last of it, right? They're at level 4. I think level 5 is the maximum. That would make sense to me. We'll hold off, though. I want to see what... Oh, wow. Average. Well, that sounds like steel for me. But they don't have steel. Workers, though. Workers are a little tempting because... These people want even more helping hands. That's a lot of helping hands to give out. And they probably want fresh labor over in the mines as well. So it's probably a good future-proofing idea to demand some workers. You got some nerve. You owe us big time. I just built a freaking road in minus 40 for you. Alright. Made it this far. I think we can survive anything, says Joel. Well, why don't we visit the cemetery and look at those that didn't? You know, none of those deaths are on us. Not a single one. So I feel pretty good about this. Getting guy chilly in there. Not so much that I'm going to upgrade the brassieres, though. These people should be fine enough on their own, and we have good medical care. Oh, right. We had good medical care. En route. All right. Time to help out these kids in need. Get out there. That looks like a 24 hour shift to me. We need that coal. Coal? We need that steel. Steam cores appear to be disappearing. Plus 10 raw food and shipment when the safe road is built. These are all pretty good. But I don't really need that much raw food. Still, I'll take it. I wonder what's going to happen when New London start uh, coming at us. New houses for new blood? No, I made sure I had space in my houses beforehand. Um, there we go. This house has seven spaces and we're getting five people over. Five um, fine, upstanding gentlemen. Alright, uh, get that steel going. We need it badly. I feel like we're going to need steam cores as we go along. So I'm a little concerned about that. But right now we know we need steel and we don't know that we need steam cores. So let's go with what we know. Need that steel for the housing and the helping ha ah. Helping hands go last, okay? I need those hands on Declan here. Actually, I don't. I got too many hands. But some of them will be sent out to do jobs, uh, setting up the roads and stuff. Definitely trading resources for wood. I do like the wood. Okay, we know you probably wish you didn't have anything to do with it, but there was a little unrest in our camp. The registry in hand, we managed to uncover the most hideous criminals hiding in our ranks. We did what had to be done a long time ago. He was a danger to us all. We hope that you appreciate that. We ask for some resources necessary to repair the damage caused during the unrest. What you need is a guard post. <laughs> yes, you do need a guard post. God, that costs a lot of steel. If only somebody would send me that steel. I don't know where these guys are getting all the steel that I'm plugging out of them, but plug it I most certainly am. Last offices. 
Uh, one of our people in the hot springs has died, and the local want to use his body as crop fertilizer like they do with their own dead. I have one of his friends on the line. Hello, sir. They want to compost Frank. Those sick bastards, sir, please don't let them do it. They will take offense, but... Uh... Return to the earth, my friend. And since they're happy, or happier... Oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe there's something I'm missing about the favor. Like, I, I don't like the... Um the integer style step up, so I want to see it grow and fall so that I know I'm not wasting any valuable anything. Alright, remember what they need is a guard camp. Maybe they don't need it, but our people working at shipwreck camp sure do. <laughs> oh, it's, it's pretty good. Jake, there are favors and there are relations. Okay. Uh-oh, confrontation's coming fast. And we haven't done much for the, uh, the mine. At least we're working through the night to get that steel. But we have helped almost everybody as much as we can. I just don't want to give out all my helping hands just yet. Comfortable housing gives us raw food, but that's hardly much to care about. Alright, what do the mines have to say? We thank you for the medics you sent to help with our health care. They are much more sick kids than beds, and we notice that the youngest unfortunately wind up at the end of the queue. You can tell your medics to start with the more severely sick, otherwise the kids will organize themselves. Healthcare will improve and they'll be displeased. Sucks to be you. Maybe when you finish everything, relations change from neutral to alliance or something like that. God, they all want steel. Why does everybody always want my steel? Alright, have some comfortable housing. It's all about the steel, though, really. Everywhere, always wanting steel. You gotta ask for steel. If we only had that wood set up earlier, all the wood would come in more than we could possibly need, and then we could focus everything on demanding steel. But as it is, we've had to demand wood just to keep ourselves afloat. But that's the nature of going in blind. Bless our captain. I'd follow him anywhere. I don't even have a generator and the people are worshipping me. This is great. Still don't want to send helping hands, though. Absolutely don't want to send helping hands. Hello, average. That sounds like you sending me steel. Well, you know what? I do have excessive hands, right? There, let's get you finished off. So you're both at level 5, which I'm going to assume is the max. Because there's nothing left for these guys to do. They'll probably make yet another request at the end, though. They always do. And that's a great deal for wood, even though my wood loads are through the roof. These guys probably need tons of it. So let's make sure we have tons of it. And we sound absolutely chipper here, don't we? Mm-hmm. You helped us greatly. Now I can admit that without your support, we would have all died one by one within a few months, most likely. Let's hope that our relations will not deteriorate further. We owe you a lot, even if we don't really agree with some of your choices. For now, there's nothing we could ask you to do. That's very cute. And how are our relations? Still neutral. I thought we'd strike an alliance or something. My diplomatic game is strong, but evidently not strong enough to ally with them. Right, I sent off the selping, uh, helping hands. At least I have fewer mouths of my own to feed, but now a new problem arises. My own lack of rations. Oh yeah, also the cookhouse has become significantly harder to keep operational. But I have people that can work it, so work it. <laughs> Some of them are going to eat themselves. How dare they. 
Okay, you guys, I need to start focusing on helping you out. Uh, I'll just send off everything you could possibly need. And I really think I'm going to start needing steam cores, so let's shift on over for a bit. It just smells like steam cores are going to be vital soon enough. Jake, since you've balanced between pleasing and displeasing them, that's why they're all neutral. Ah, oh, that's okay, though. You keep picking options they don't like. That's okay. Our medical staff reports at the shipwreck camp. These people are hardened and skilled workers. Their bodies carrying numerous scars and injuries, suffered while working in dangerous and sometimes toxic conditions. Nevertheless, they seem surprisingly healthy, although many of them are currently suffering from vari various maladies, like malaria, caused by malnutrition and bad living conditions. Very good. But we've improved all of those things for them, so I'm sure they're okay. Mm -hmm. Everything we can be doing is en route already, so we just sit back and relax, earn those steam cores, earn those, uh... Mm, oh man, all this stuff coming on in. Why are the kids sending me so much coal? Oh yeah, because I sent them some nice stuff. I don't even need or want this coal. I need more space for rations, I need more space for coal, I just need more space. It costs a lot of steel to build these, unfortunately, but sometimes you just gotta do it. And at least we can build it through the night. Okay, we're biting our tongues, but we can no longer remain silent. All the changes you brought to our agriculture, all this technology we can't understand or even use, turn my people into cheap labor for you. Our crops now are completely dependent on the pumps you've installed. We toil knee-deep in dirt while your people chill around the machines. They won't even hear about teaching us how to use and maintain them. Calling us careless dolts. This has to change. God, some people are just always unhappy. I did everything for you. We will teach you. Yeah, I think we will have to teach you. Discontent rises. I don't really know why, but whatever. Mm, shipments are already en route. I uh, know the only people I can trade coal to are the uh, the shipwreck camp people, and they're already sending us wood. But once it's here, I think we could do it again, right? There we go. Although I don't even know if I need that wood right now. I certainly don't need the coal. At least we're building more places to store all this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to get max numbers in all the camps. Why not? While we're here, I want to explore the, um, explore the content that's here as much of it as I can. Although I'm running out of time. Let's make space for that coal. Make space for these new rations. And what's going on now? Children's mine. After rebuilding coal mine, we can think about connecting our settlements. Doesn't seem worth it just for coal, but oh well. Coal mine was rebuilt. The amount of work needed to extract the coal fell radically. The children have nothing to do and are wandering aimlessly or playing the whole day. Working kids are envious and attempt to take away their food, claiming they don't deserve it. Well, they don't deserve it. Have some rotation, goddammit. Don't work, you don't eat sentiment. Food will be redistributed by our men. Children's mind will be displeased. Children's mind will be displeased. So displeased, displeased, or pleased. What? So they'll be happy if I do nothing. Well, it doesn't matter. You're going to be taught to work. Get that cookhouse going. Oh, jeez. I have to build it in man... Oh, oh, well. Off you trot. I think I'm going to want more people from, uh, from you. We need some workers, please. Ah, friendly relations now. Why are they friendly with you but neutral with you? I don't know. Maybe something else will pop up. 
Right, now i got to dedicate pretty much everything to helping out uh, this place. And wouldn't you know it, they want my steel and my steam cores. That's going to be tough. Well, if I need steel, I know just the people to give it to me. Help us, send me steel. Right, so favors are different from relations. And if I want them friendly, I gotta do everything I can to raise relations. I kept mixing up favor and relations. What a shame, but oh well. Alright, get to work. I need all of that. Some of you are in treatment though, and I can't be having that. It's because I've sent out so many of my people that I barely have any to, to hang on to myself here. Right, I don't even need you guys working that much. Just have the kids pluck out what's left there. I have maximum work there. Some of them are going to eat. Not on my watch, you don't. And then I maximize their efficiency, and that should be fine. get as much steel and steam cores as we can because I need to send it to these ungrateful children down the mines. Build watchtowers, raise quality of life and food production in the hot springs. There's not a lot that I can do for the hot springs anymore. space for rations, although I also need more space for coal, but I can't spend all this steel all the time. And of course work your 24 hour shift all day every day. I think you need extra tech. I'm not so sure. I can't think of any tech that would be useful to me right now. My homes are already blisteringly hot. I've even turned down the braziers. I'll turn them back up when it hits minus 60. Otherwise, what's there even to improve here? I don't really think I need uh, any of this. None of this. None of this. The only thing I think would hit me hard is if it fell to minus 70. Then I'd need extra heat for the infirmary. But then I'd just build a brazier and get two extra heat levels off of it. No problem. Maybe you have to do normal trades two or three times to up relations. I don't really think this ups relations. Oh, these guys are cautious to us in the children's mine. Ah, oh, jeez. Maybe I didn't read very well about this stuff. Settlement relations. Loyal, friendly, neutral, cautious, distrustful. Choices. Choices where you align with their goals and principle will make them loyal. Imposing your own worldview will cause them to be more distrustful. Both these choices can be valid depending on what you want to achieve. Well, I do want loyalty. Interesting. But it's all down to the choices. Okay. Ah, well, I don't need loyalty. Not when I'm swimming in resources. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, there was some commotion among the kids. Took us a while to sort it out. We've found that these three children are missing. Other kids say they went to play. Nobody has seen them for a day. One child admitted they sneaked into the mine. We have to find them quickly. Your people formed a rescue party, but they don't know this mine as well as the kids. Few of the bigger boys offered to guide them. Let's save them together. Really, that was strange. It was either I cheese them off or don't cheese them off. I bet those people are going to die in there. Oh well. Probably going to need more people soon. Steel is such a problem. Shaft expansion. Hot house. I can give them hot houses, but I can't get my own. Oh, that's right. I have a safe route to establish here. And as usual, it costs every shred of steel available. Probably going to need workers, so I'm just going to preempt that need. And look, we got plenty of space for workers, so that's okay. So I need to set up another unit. Oh boy, there's always so much to do.
Okay, team reports they found the lost kids in a collapsed shaft almost immediately. They were hungry, thirsty, and scared, but unharmed. Our young guys are so confident uh, that my man grew suspicious when the younger kids said something about a test. was immediately silenced up. We should never have gone to help these kids. Alright, well, let's expand their shaft. And I guess we'll set up the safe route stuff, but then I need to do the rest myself. Which means, as ever, I need a ton of steel. Good thing I'm run running that 24-hour shift as hard as I can. Right, your machines are scary. They do not belong in our settlement, but since they are here, we're grateful that we can use them. Your people were a bit gruff, but we had so many ma uh, questions, trouble understanding the answers. We got it. Thanks to your help, there's nothing more to improve for now. The knowledge that we can now manage the machinery, even if you decide to leave, is comforting. Yeah, well, that's one way to say you're thankful. So let's see. Neutral, friendly, neutral. I don't think we'll get anybody with loyal, but we'll see what happens there. Maybe get my fourth steam core and then switch this over to steel, because by the gods, I need that steel. And that things are okay. No, that coal's pretty much all kaput, so let's get some people working there. I mean, the coal that they send in makes this stuff superfluous, but we'll get some extra workers. Trade for food, trade for coal, absolutely not. As soon as I signed Sawdust Law, food stopped being an issue, which is rather nice. So let's stop having you guys waste away there. Make sure that everybody is working here, nobody is sick. Excellent. I'm going to dump wood on this again. Because I need that steel, as usual. But I'll probably ask for a shipment of wood from the... Uh, from you, when I can. Help us, give me that steel. The children will give us steel, sadly. Alright, get going, unit. We'll go and set up the ice plane. It might seem really cold, but that's not a problem. We just raise the heating and raise the heating. Okay, yeah, this tent is being unnecessarily heated, but all the other ones are completely empty. In fact, what I should do is turn them off. I won't delete them just in case I find myself in a position where I want a bit more housing. Yeah, I get working. A bit cold over here, isn't it? I think I will turn this brazier on. Keep these people muckle toasty. Okay, we're pretty good. Some of the other children want to go to New London to check their parents are still there. That would leave some workplaces understaffed. We can't keep an eye on all of them all the time. Extraction up, send people, either watch them or da 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 da. So I guess I just want these people to be happy. We'll try to do what we can to keep people happy now. Uh, replace the workforce, send replacements and equip the kids for the trip. That sounds like a very nice thing to do. Hopefully they don't need steel. Not really, they need food and more workers. Ah, jeez. Raise your hands if you don't have enough workers. Because that's us right now. My kids would not be happy working that themselves. Uh, they wanted a lot of replacements. <laughs> jeez. Okay, so I need people out of the convict right now. But I did just send off people to make the pathway, didn't I? Whew. Do you think this on extreme might finally be a challenge for you? We'll see. Probably, but it depends what you're going for. I don't know how this ends yet. For all I know, I could tell all these guys to sort off, make my own supplies, and then deal with New London, however that gets done. But there seem like a lot of choices that are just straight up bad. Like, why would I ever have built the uh, 
the cemetery here for 40 wood when I was so hurting on wood. Didn't make any sense. Speaking of hurting on wood, uh, could do with some wood coming in. What with all the none of it that we have right now, and we desperately need it for the children's mine. Aren't you meant to be sending me wood? Here, I'll send you some resources for it, but uh, send me more pretty please. Worker plays. You might have noticed coal shipments from the children's mine are uneven. This isn't due to any technical difficulties. Some kids just can't focus. They sometimes play all day and work just a couple of hours. Should we try to make them keep to the working hours or let them plan their time? Whatever. Let them uh, let them do as they want. I don't like all this pleasing people all the time, especially since it, this is just too integer. Like I can't tell uh, tell what the impact is. Alright, so that wood will be over here, but it's only 75 of it. Not a whole lot, considering the amount that these people demand. But it only costs me coal and food, both of which are negligible. Oh god, yeah. Complete lack of wood's a problem now. Alright, I'll focus on making the pathway first. Then I'll improve their everything else. But that confrontation's coming. No two ways around it. Resource generation has stopped through the night. Need to periodically check on favors, make sure that everybody's coughing up everything they can. Give me that. Oh, wood is tempting. <laughs> send me the wood so I can send you the wood. Wait for high favor, see if it gives you more options. I think that's how it was with New London. Uh, Alright. Alright, let's focus on getting high favor with. Um, with our friends over in the children's mine. But I am dependent on that wood pretty badly right now. How often are they meant to send me the stuff? What is it you need? We don't have much. Ah, oh, their favor will fall slightly, but uh barely have any. Well, if it falls only slightly, maybe that's because they're friendly with me. No, they weren't friendly. You guys are friendly. But it still only it said, still said it only went down slightly. Oh well. I think I need to poke at this and see more about how it interacts. We got our goods here, so build that safe route. And get moving on to the next, please. And then we'll have it done. The children's mine already have their upgrade. Things are going well. We got the captain to thank for that. Really? Is it really going that well? I'm not convinced myself. I'm gonna knock down the heating since these houses are already so warm. I wasted a lot of resources making such lovely livable houses when I really didn't have to. We have an overcrowding enabled infirmary, which is more than enough. More than enough. If I'm not making food rations, let's just change that out for coal, and change that out for coal, and we're good. I think falling slightly means it'll go down one level, so from average to low, something's great that'll take it from high to low. Is that so? Again, need to poke around at it more to see how it all works. That's why I made uh, that's why I made a save, and I think I'll make another save just so that I can explore more. Call it uh, think more. Children are returned. They went to New London. They returned sick and hungry. They weren't allowed to enter or even get close to the city. The fate of their parents is unknown. Sucks to be them, doesn't it? Where's that wood? Oh yeah, I burned my wood on wooden supports. Well, no more of that. Just emergency shifting all the way to the bank. Thank God for emergency shift. Imagine doing this without it. I'd rather not perish the thought. Okay, friendly folks. We have problems and we need, well, wood and steel, but uh, send me the... Mm, yeah, send me the wood for now. 
Hidden graveyard. Our people made a disturbing discovery while preparing a place for the gathering post. Uh, they followed a path trodden in the snow which led them deeper into a frozen forest. They found a clearing with about 20 graves. One of them lies the captain's hat. Our people think the ship's crew is buried there, presumably by the locals. Why would I ever choose tell the locals that we know if it cheeses them off? I don't understand these choices. Could lead to further events, that's true. Let's tell them that we know. I'm not scared of displeasing some people. I think it's more of like an explore and find all these different paths, which interests me considerably less than uh, the gameplay itself. All right, I need that wood to fit uh, to sort that out, and then I can bring you back, re-extract the wood, and finish off the rest of this. Because we're looking okay on the steel. Hell, we're looking better than okay. We're looking great. We just need this wood to come on in, and there's that wood. Build. Hmm. Avalanche danger. We've encountered an unforeseen obstacle. Huge masses of snow have accumulated on the mountainside. We can trigger an avalanche. Cleaning up the snow will take a lot of time and extra resources. Might come back to bite us later. Trigger it. Get back here. Get uh, get dismantled. And we'll keep things moving. Our settlements are now connected. Thanks to it, we'll be able to help each other quickly. We always sense security. We'll be sending you shipments of resources every other day. Use it for the good of both of our people. They're pleased. Hope rises. Man, my hope is good. How pleased are we talking here? Still neutral. Such madness. Such avarice. Give me that wood. Trade for wood. Demand wood. Demand steel. High favor with a mine, Jake. Ah, that is true. So will they do more for me? We need a lot of coal. Or workers. But I I want your steel. I don't want any of this. Oh, this is a mistake. This was a big mistake. I wanted their steel, not their lots of coal. Oh. We are happy to help, I'm sure. Maybe try some how can we help you for new quests. So that's true. We'll even open up to that. There's nothing else you can do for us. You really came through. Words can't express our gratitude. Your words expressed how despondent you were towards what we did. Bloody hippies. Alright, how about our good friends over in the shipwreck camp? Favor's too low. Alright. Uh, if you insist, we'd like you to build us charcoal kilns. We can turn our surplus of wood into coal. Really? Well, if that's how you're going to play it... Oh, well, um, it's not showing as an option there. Are you sure you want charcoal kilns? Maybe they were being uh, sarcastic. Yeah, maybe. Just maybe I need the tech. Now, I can't express how much I hate the charcoal kilns tech. But I'll try. I'm going to need to pull some of you, I think. Get you going there. Slam on a 24-hour shift so that you can research those kilns for me. Totally unnecessary, but let's find out. Ah, oh, I don't have the wood! When's the next wood coming in? It's taking too long. Uh, I could dismantle a workshop for some of that. There we go. Let's get that kiln technology. So I have to research how to build it then, build it for them. Such madness. Uh oh, confrontation in four days. I need to up the mine considerably. 
Right, you guys are back, which means you are getting disbanded. I get all those resources back. Uh, we capped out on steel that way, so I should send the biggest uh, load of steel that I can. Also, oh, we're already trading for wood. 100 wood, 150 steel, two... Yeah, Jesus. On you go, then. Send the replacement people while you're at it. And then I just need the wood, which is coming in in 22 minutes. And then they get the better health care as well. Holy moly, that was a lot. Give me more wood. I'm always hungry for it. Okay. My Liege says, if you want the other options from the mine, you'll need to drop back to low and get a uh, to get average. How do you know that? Oh, uh, perhaps you mean uh, these ones, right? Yeah, uh, I think I'll take some workers off your hands. Then it's down to low, and then I can't ask for anything more. Well, at least we know, right? At least we know. Anything else to research? Nothing that I really want to do, though. But with that researched... Oh, I still can't build them a charcoal kiln. That's strange. What do you want from me? Not seeing it as an option. Still don't. We've done everything else. We're a real champ. Low on steam cores, and I don't like that, so let's switch to steam core grabbing. It's a bug, Jake. You already built it. Oh, we can actually check that, can't we? Industry. Oh, God, I did a lot for them, but yes, they have their charcoal kilns. Odd saboteur. Your watchman caught an old man attempting to clog the steam pipes. We don't know why he tried to do it. He's been acting strange recently. Maybe his mind is failing, but we can't rule out New London's involvement. Nevertheless, we ask you to forgive him in the name of peace and harmony between our people. I'm not sure I trust these hippies. But I do want to see how friendly we can get. Can we bring you up to loyal... No, it doesn't seem it. A lot of events going on here. They really uh, they really brought it all out for making events and different things that go on, depending on your earlier choices here. And that's really cool. I just don't overly care. <laughs> I'm here to... Uh, I'm here to send people down mines. And, of course, show my uh, loyalty towards New London. Children's mind, the kids really want to help, but there's not enough. The older ones are trying to keep up pace, the younger ones are unreliable. They slack off, wander around, and can't keep on schedule. The only sure way to raise coal output is to replace the children with adults in all critical places. They'll be displeased, but we can't just wait until they start working harder and hope for the best. Oh no. What? The children's mind will be displeased if I send adults. don't understand. Whatever. Send them. Oh. I need those people. Ay, ay, okay. Well. Send us some workers. Oh, God. We'll send the convicts over to the kids. Great idea. Perhaps even our best idea. Okay, um... A lot of those workers that we have are already out and deployed for stuff. And they want 25. They want all of my workers. There's a significant problem with that. If you need them, why did you even want to send them? I mean, you don't need coal, do you? I don't, but I wanted to see what would happen. Uh, right. Favors are low, so they won't help us. We have five workers en route.
I could kill my own coal. Oh, no, no, that still doesn't deal with that, does it? Oh, well. We don't need to do it immediately, surely. But we do need those uh, workers coming in from shipwreck camp. Will they send more workers? No, favor's too low. Farewell. I do so much for these people, the least they can do is help us back. And that's right, I need to figure out what I wanted from uh, from you. What are we short on? Wood and steel, but the steel situation seems to be solving itself here. And I sent over pretty much everything else, right? The helping hands are just people. So, uh... Just send me the steel, and I'll trade with you for the wood. Infirmary research will save you five engineers. I was thinking about just chopping it down to five engineers anyway. Only three days before confrontation, and I don't know if the children's mine are going to want even more out of us or not. Hope went down for some reason. What was all that about? Maybe it was the the guys that just arrived. They weren't as hopeful as we are. Okay, I mean, I really need workers, so keep them coming. And I always seem to want steel, but I also want wood. Screw it, send me the wood for now. And as for you, you can send me more steel too. Although they would send me workers if I uh, brought it up a bit more, so let's let's let it go up a bit more. Difficult relations. Our people at shipwreck camp complain about the locals, making them uneasy. Admittedly, these ex-cons are great workers, but they are rowdy. Uncouth, quick to demonstrate their physical strength, and love to show off their technical skills. Okay, what do you want me to do? Don't just unload problems on me. That doesn't help anybody. Most importantly, doesn't help me. Low, low, and average, and I want that to be higher than average. This is just stacked full of coal. I'll change out one more so we have more space for that steel. Prepared food is low. No, it's not. It's at 959. For a population in my city of what exactly? 20, 30, 40, 55. That's a lot. Okay. Low, low, and average. Keep that wood coming in. I don't need any of that stuff. But I do want to send off those workers soon enough. You know, I do have like 12 spare. If, this is a big if, if I take you guys away and then take one, two, three of you, replace them with revenge and ears, then I can send them their critical so-called critical replacements. I wonder if they're going to send me the kids back. I don't want that. I have no real work for the kids to do. Oh, it's getting a bit... It's getting a bit nippy out here. It's alright though. The infirmary can still function. And it's a couple of days until the confrontation. But weather still changes afterwards, so... Oh wait, no, it changes then. Hmm... Not sure what they're not sure what's gonna happen. At all. I mean I've tried to communicate with London, but they don't want to hear from me. Shipment en route, that's fine, that's fine. Is there anything that you want? There's nothing else you can do for us, you really came through. Damn right I'm good. Oh, uh, how do you feel about me? Still average. Low and low. He still wants those charcoal kilns for some reason. Alright. Still doing fine. 
I'm glad to actually get some more steam cores in case those are needed towards the end. I can imagine that New London comes with this enormous requirement and you either fulfill it to show your piety or resist them. I don't know, but we'll find out. Sabotage, grave news. The old man who we decided to let go repeated his sabotage. He was under discreet observation, but we lost him for a few minutes. He blew up one of the smaller pumps, killing everyone. Oh, well, no, killing himself and three others. Words can't express our grief. We hope you'll not hold the actions of a lone madman against our whole, co our whole community. Exhausted and displeased. Discontent will fall. No, I mean, discontent's not a problem here. Probably thanks to me actually warming my people. So I guess we two are responsible for this. By the way, why am I not 24 hours shifting you? Get to work. And if they're that pleased, maybe they can be loyal to us. Oh, yes! The hippies bow to our every word. Good. Very good. And they're the ones with the most people at 80. 80, 72, and 56. I wonder if there's a point where you can outnumber New London. Interesting. I don't know what the relations really do in the end, but how could we ever know? Oh, right, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself when it comes to wood here. Maybe I should start asking you for food rather than anything else. Alright, the supplies, by which I mean people, made it to the mine. Still just average and neutral, though. Aha! No, it's you, and it's high. Which means, by the way, those people I sent you, I want them back. Suckered with the double receipt. Okay, uh, we've developed this place as much as was possible. There's nothing left to do that wouldn't take months. We can keep the coal shipments coming without further delays or problems now that the kids are out of the way. <laughs> what did you do to them? They look sad and upset, but it is how it is. <laughs> I can read between the lines, don't you worry. Okay. Everybody, everybody is super happy with what we did to them. Now the only possible problem is what London's going to do to us. Probably demand a whole lot of stuff from us. These guys are both average. You know what, if they're average, let's get the favor to high and see what their high options are, even though I'd like to exploit them now. But we're dripping with wood and... Well, we're dripping with lots of things, actually. What happens if you get too much beyond your... Uh... Oh, it's waiting for space, of course, of course. Well, that's easy enough to deal with. There you go, there's space for it. Alright, now we have a day and a half to see what the ultimatum is. Well, ultimatum. I'm assuming that uh, New London is going to come and demand crazy amounts of stuff from us. But it's going to happen in the night time. Hmm, interesting. Inconvenient truth. Our team in the Hot Springs report that repairing the damage from the geyser eruption, they found that we are most likely responsible for this disaster. Apparently when we fixed the pumps, we disrupted the flow of water underground. The locals are already considering the eruption nature's punishment for bringing technology. What should we do? Their favor will be exhausted. Yeah, whatever. They were never really going to help us, were they? Bunch of hippies. I'm more interested in what we get from high favor with the shipwreck camp. Might as well go and get more wood. I can see that being useful. Nice. So they sent... Ah, this is great. Since they're so happy with us, everybody's sending us everything. New Londoners are coming. A large group of people is heading to our city from New London. We don't know their intentions, but we must assume that it's the vanguard of our punitive expedition. The moment of truth is coming. This will be the test of our resolve. That's fine. Look, I am a New London man. Whatever they want, we will deliver. That said, though, we're running out of space for our everything. Let's make a few more depots. 
I mean, half the population isn't even here. They've been sent to the other places. Who knows? Maybe they want to move in? <laughs> maybe. Where are they? Transport from New London. They'll be here in a day. Okay, well, uh, they'll be here in an hour, rather. The Vanguard. Alright, before you do, do we have high relations with Shipwreck Camp? We do. What can you offer us? Ooh, they could send us 15 workers or even some engineers. That's amazing. That's a lot of workers. But I don't need them. But mind them. Sure, give us a give us a fat lot of workers. We might have a war on our hands here. You got some nerve. You owe us big to think of everything I've done for you. What do I really owe you? Okay, let's see what the Vanguard have to say. Trouble in New London, you say? There's no punitive expedition. These are ordinary people. Their delegates are here to ask for help. We fled the hunger and chaos of New London. Everything is falling apart. Healthcare, coal, even the generator. The administration just argues over what to do. No decisions are made. Help us, please. Some of our people, recognizing their friends and relatives among the refugees, are embracing them. Taking them home. We have no choice but to welcome them. Do we really have no choice? Really? Pretty cold here, and I'm not sure I have the housing for everybody. Uh, I certainly don't have the medical care for everybody. Let's fix these problems. Who arrived? God, they're all workers. Maybe I do need that tech. Okay. Okay, okay. Infirmary up. Again, the infirmaries can work in the uh, horrific cold, so it doesn't really matter. Where they're thunked down. There we go. Seems we're not done yet here then, huh? Vacant beds are still 27, but I have a feeling that they're staying in the tents. No? Well, what's happening? Where are they staying? How many people came? I have questions, but they don't seem to be complaining about their living situation, so we'll just deal with that. Get this thing built immediately. Right, this calls for my favorite law. Children, all jobs, get to work. Children, when they have the all laws, uh, the all jobs law signed, will work on building work. And that is good news for me. So get to build in this. This land with a child dying at work. Mark my words. You know, there are silver linings, aren't there? Okay, Outpost 11, we heard some people from our city have reached you. What they tell you is mostly true. We lost some crops and had a food shortage, used sawdust, had labor shortages, then a generation malfunction, and things got out of control. To prevent panic, we tried to cover up the scale of the crisis. That's why we didn't tell you. We urgently need resources and people. Our relations weren't good recently, but please, can you help us? New London can't fall. Excellent. Good to hear that re uh, relations have repaired now. What can I do for you, my friends? We have an answer. We haven't decided yet. Can't endure much longer. You'll have to prepare for you. No, we will save London. I am a patriot. We will save you. And farewell is all they have to say. All right, fair enough. What do they need? What the heck does London need? You can consult with the others. Screw the others. Screw the hippies, the degenerates, and uh, the pile of dead children at the body of the mine, uh, bottom of the mine. You want coal? Take my coal. You want food? Take my food. You want steel and steam cores? Take it. I'm a patriot. You can have. You want people as well? Well, uh, where are my people even? That we might struggle with a little bit. the heck are they all? They're not even working. Right. Uh, I already tapped you for people. You're only average. You won't give me more people. Ah, but we have 15 on the way. 15 and 23 and 12 is just the 50 that they asked for. <laughs> 
Alright, time to decide. New London is collapsing. We don't have much time to reach a decision. I already did. We can consult the other settlements. Nah. Screw them. Save New London. New London's economy is in shambles. We'll need a lot of coal to keep them warm. Due to the coal, a lot of their workers are sick. That means our people have to replace them. Infirmaries will heal the gravely ill. But to build them, we need to send steel and... Ah, I'm way, way ahead of the curve. Your decision to preserve the bigger and more advanced society will affect us all, for good or ill. Only time will... Sod off, you hippies. Let's get this infirmary going, heal the sick that arrived here, and then ship them off back to London from whence they came. I don't even need this anymore. Screw that. Fate of New London. How quickly the mood changes. We're ready to fight, and now many want help. After all, people still have friends and relatives there. If we let New London fall, we could take... Who? Full control of it! Oh. <laughs> Getting a bit flustered here. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. Uh, yeah. 12 are in the warehouse, that's fine. We have 23 unemployed, 12 in the warehouse, and that makes 35, and then 15 coming in, and that makes 50. But we probably need to heal people up. Why is this taking so long? Sick children taking too long to build. Get fixin'. Right, it's more of a priority to get our people sorted. There we go. I'm not going to send the children down the warehouse. I don't deserve that. To be clear, everybody's living in warmth, right? Yeah, good. Right, everybody should be repaired in the morning, and then we'll send them off. I'm not sending over any sickos to uh, to New London. Well, actually, some people may get sick, but whatever. Oh, ooh, ooh. oh, yeah, the shipment's there. Sending us the food rations, you've accomplished more than just saving us from starvation. You've rekindled hope. They're still hungry. <laughs> we know what it took to deliver this much food. It took me nothing. Also, it's mostly sawdust. Sending us food rations, you've accomplished... Yeah, I know. I, I already did that. The big shipment of coal you sent us is essential for our survival. Generators acting up even on the lowest settings and many buildings don't get enough heat. Now we can do something to keep people warm and healthy. I think it overlapped the, uh, the steel that I sent. By the way, I don't think they checked the fine print of what I'm doing to them. I'm doing so. Alright, I think our people are healed enough to make the journey right. Off you go. God, there's nothing left here. It's 15 engi uh, 25 engineers and a bunch of kids, and that's it. I don't even need to run my infirmaries anymore. You're going to be pounding out that coal because something, something, it all disappeared somehow. There we go. Make sure you're working long and hard. And you are on... It's not that warm. Let's warm it up a bit more. Excellent. Don't even need this operational. Engineers, get down there. Get me steel. Get me steam cores. And the... Uh, the workers are on their way. So you have four, looks like you have four and a half or five days to save London. Didn't even need them. Two, one. Oh, how nice. Somebody at the last moment is sending us 80 food? Wow, that's pretty nice. Maybe it's just all the dead bodies. Oh, I never spoke to these guys. How do you feel about what I'm... Oh, shoot, I don't want that. Um, I want to talk to you. Can you help us with New London? I don't actually want your help at all, but talk to me. All those wealthy New Londoners are scum. No offense, pal. You're different, but they can go to hell with their generators and fancy houses. They grew too big, and the world will cut them down. If you want to help them, only stab you in the back. In the end, each of us should stand or fall on our own. So I'm going to... Ass <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Never mind. I'm going to assume that they help you if you get friendly relations with them. He's neutral. These guys are loyal. So, will you help us? 
We don't know how much of New and uh, we don't know much of New London. It seems to us that unlike you, its people failed to adapt. Nature is our ultimate judge. It's useless to dispute her rulings, but whatever you decide, we won't deny you help if you ask for it. Okay, but are you actually going to help me? No? Okay, well, doesn't matter. And how about the children's body? They're just neutral. Jings, after everything I did for them? Like, I did a lot of good for them, and all they did was hate me for it. We're saddened to hear about the plight of New London. It reminds us of the tragic fate of Winterholm. You should try to help them. Some of our children might have relatives there. Uh, the decision is yours, but whether you choose them or not, we'll help you as much as we can. Okay, sure. Well... I mean, I've already taken care of everything, you ungrateful slobs. Alright, time for the takeover. The city is saved. We did it. New London is no longer in danger of collapse. It was a trying time for all, full of strife and discord, but that's behind us now. Because <laughs> we're in charge. Despite all the misunderstandings and unnecessary grudges, we saw past our differences and lent a helping hand to those in need. The last city on Earth remains the best hope of mankind, but how long will its people remember the lesson that it was... Remember the lesson that it was Discord? Ah, not the great storm that turned out to be the ultimate threat. Don't know. Don't care. It's nice that it gives you the rundown here, although it would be far less impressive because I barely built anything after day three. Ruled by New London, but like good patriots, we came back and uh, saved their asses. Wouldn't have it any other way. They changed the rules, exploited us, so we rose and cut our ties. I did no such thing. Stop trying to make me out like some kind of rebel. I'm a patriot. To stand against New London, we sought friends with hippies, children, and criminals. To be fair, the support that they demanded was outrageous. I really should have established with the wood people first, but I didn't know they were there. Now that I do, though, oh, it's going to be a different story. I begged for rescue. We saved the city with the help of our allies. <laughs> the help of our allies. We averted a disaster, thanks to cooperation. Hmm. I see that Big Skype has a lot to say in this. Oh, wow, you can't even reach that population on Serenity. 1960... what? Thank you for playing Frostpunk and giving us your support. We hope it was as thrilling a ride for you as it was for us. Moving both the heart and the mind. We hope to see you around for more endeavors we're setting off to make. Much love, the Frostpunk... Oh man. Isn't it touching when the game ends up thanking you, the player? Okay. That was a great trial run of that scenario. But I can't help but feel there's some unfinished business. Yeah, whatever. Some unfinished business. Maximum extreme. And then we go and crush the skulls of New London. I mean, that was me being a patriot. Just imagine what we're going to be like as a rebel leader. But that's not going to happen now. That's going to happen at a later date. Which might not even be tomorrow, because I want to check out the change to Endless Mode. Apparently... Let's grab somewhere like... Uh, you know what, I really like Frozen Grove. There we go. You'll find other settlements in the Frostlands that can help you deal with random hazards. Interesting. This, I think, is what we'll explore tomorrow. Hmm. All right, excellent. Glad to see they added that as well as uh, the scenario. Okay, we're done with Frostpunk, but only for tonight. It's going to be back tomorrow because, heavens help me, I love this game. 
big shout out and big props to 11-Bit Studios for sending me over an uh, early preview copy of On the Edge. It was pretty good. All right, we'll explore more of that tomorrow, as well as more Nancy Drew. So until then, it's a cheers from me and a cheerio.